Hey y'all, can you hear me? I hope y'all can hear me. Just waiting for a few of you to get on. You can hear me. Great. Thank you so much for letting me know that. Hi. Hi. Okay, so Yasmin How are you? is here. I'm good, thanks. How are you, Yasmin? Good to see you too. Let me switch my cameras because I think I put, um, I'm, this is using my front-facing camera. So one okay. second. Sure. Okay. Thanks everyone uh, for joining. Welcome, um, welcome everyone. Good to see Excellent you. views right now. Yeah. Okay, this looks a lot better. So I'm so excited. I have to tell the whole internet first things first. In your honor, I wore linen today. Oh, oh yay! That makes me <laughs> I so did. happy. It's like a true collab. I told yes, you I would. Yes, <laughs> totally. This okay, and I crooked too. probably. Yep. It's just been so go. hot today here in Southern California. I know. Same. Luckily, it's it's a little more gloomy. So. I know. Oh my gosh! It's so good to see you. You too. Thanks for having me. Of course. This is so. I'm having fun Thanks already. Me too. Hey, Cindy. Oh, it's so good to see everybody joining. So today we're going to be showcasing our favorite brushes from Coyuto, Bisioto, and Mizuho ahead of the price increase that's coming up on October 1st. And we're super excited. We have all of our brushes here gathered in case anybody has any questions or special requests for us to showcase them. Um, both Yasmin and I are self-proclaimed clown lectors, so. Yeah. <laughs> and we didn't check, or we didn't check with each other about what our favorite brushes were at all. So we're both going into this blind. Um, we, we both picked out products and brushes and stuff, but neither of us know what the other one's going to pick. So something in my gut tells me this is going to turn into like an homage to the Grand Series, but I could be wrong. So we'll see. I don't know. I know it's hard to not bring up the grand series just because oh they're just so special aren't they but there's so many good ones it's gonna be difficult to even pick because um yeah I mean that's kind of like the fun of it is that there's so many choices so many options some that go in and out of stock some that are you know limited edition that a lot of you probably have some of you that are newer to food a uh, might not be super familiar with so we would love to hear about any of you all that are joining us if any of y'all collect um, what you're interested in seeing in this live um, and if you're planning on picking up any other new brushes from any of these three brands ahead of the 10-1 price increase if you, anybody has any questions feel free to drop them in the chat below if we miss any of them apologies we'll try to get around to them so just keep them coming welcome to the live everyone who's joining we got a good we got a good quorum here together it's like um captain planet we combined our powers or something <laughs> <laughs> yeah totally great crowd okay i'm so excited so should we get started uh i think so yeah i get to use all these brushes right so yeah sounds good um, okay um so far i just put um eyebrow gel on myself but other than that i and it's not even technically eyebrow gel it's this got to be glued stuff because um i have so many different eyebrow gels but if i really sat and i really sat and thought about what my most favorite products were for this live uh to showcase them and i really haven't been able to find anything with better hold than this little like non eyebrow gel here from got to be it's the styling spiking glue this is an og i'm sure people are familiar with that so one, you but... put the spoolie in that and then just put it in your brows yeah exactly so you can get these on Amazon. oh my god that's genius i i use their hairspray and it's fantastic so do i oh. i even used it before this live it's great right classics so you they actually recently came out with this one specifically for eyebrows 
Um, I have it. I've tried it, but I still feel like nothing is better than this OG formula. For some reason, it's special. But I think they did this because everybody was using this as an eyebrow gel. Oh, that's smart. So, so actually, that brings me into the topic of spoolies. Maybe we can start there. Oh, oh my gosh. I have to see if I can find it because I got that um, this Yodo spoolie. And uh, now I can't find it. Like I pulled it out and everything. I wonder if it's on my other. Oh, it's 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 over yonder. It's on my other cup there. Yeah, so, I yeah. saw that you have. I don't have it on my person. The, I, I did. Them. Um, this year, so my mom just joined the chat. Jay tomorrow six. She said she likes the got to be styling stuff for her curls. She has curly hair. I have curly hair too, but. Oh, me too. Okay. Do you really have curly hair? Your hair is so straight. I what do, do you do for it? Because I know these are I my do. curls. Oh, lovely. Yeah, yeah mine yeah. aren't as curly as yours, but yours are beautiful. Um, oh, thank you. That's so I sweet. Have, yeah. I have a Brazilian blowout. That's what I do regularly okay. in my hair. So it kind of like relaxes it. Oh, that's smart. No, I, yeah. I've known my hairdresser longer than I've known my husband. So so <laughs> she's just been, yeah. Um, but she's just like, oh, no, I don't want to do like, um, she, so she's like, no, you need to dye your hair. And I was like, no, I am too late. Like the upkeep, it's not the it um, is. the doing it. It's the upkeep that bothers me. So I'd rather just like leave it and then totally kind of deal. With no, yeah. With it. yeah. Curly hair is, is definitely a handful. It um, is definitely. It's a blessing and a curse at the same time. So speaking of spoolies, yeah, I saw that you had recently picked up the Bis Yoda ones. This is the short handle, yes. the short series one. And then this one's the long series one. It's kind of funny how they decided to make the a long series one, a little bit smaller than the the short series one. But I just thought that this unique, this was such a unique shape here that I had to pick it up. Um, Are the hairs the same? Because I think I have the short one and that's like raccoon, but then yes. I don't know the hair of the longer one. Yes, it's the same exact hair. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Huh. Raccoon I did hair. not know that. No, I guess I got to put another order in. <laughs> Sorry to give you FOMO. No, no, no. <laughs> No, it's not like it's totally fine because I this I, this has never happened to me before with the grand series. I was like, let me just get the five brush set. I went and got a six brush, and now I'm gonna get the other two because the, I like the grand set that much. I never I have never done that before with any set ever. Like I saw that you I, recently I, yeah. picked up the grand series set, but it I doesn't did. come with all of them. I assume that it came with all of them. So there's a five brush set and an eight brush set. And then I was like, let me just kind of dip my toe in the pool and get the five brush set and see what that's like. And then I love them so much. I ended up getting one more. And then now I'm like, you know what? Let me just get all, all of them. Might as well. Cause then yeah, <laughs> later you'll be wondering which, which of the three did they leave out of the five? Number set? two, they left out the two round ones. So there were the round powder brush, the round highlight brush and the round blender brush. So everything else, not, not so, um, not that like they left out this fluffy blender. This was the sixth one that I got. And then the round highlight brush I, and then the round um, powder brush. I'm wondering if I have the round highlight brush. Are you talking, not this one, is it? No, that, that one is included. So I have that one. I'm just having a hard time seeing. So like I'm crouching down to see you in the reflection. Of it. So it's the one all the way closest to your face. I want to say it's like my... This one's yeah, the, that big, one. the large round yes. brush. The large round brush is not in the eight piece, is not in the five piece set. And then this one's not the small round brush. Is that one it? is. There's like a highlight brush that's not there. Oh, um, okay. That must be kind of like the one that's similar to the Wayne Goss airbrush, like yeah. a little bit yes, thicker. Yes, that's, yeah, exactly. Okay, so then it's this one, that Wayne Goss style. Oh, that's this one. This little, I'm assuming yes. this one. Oh, no, I ha I think so. There's like, there's a round highlight brush. So I'll unbox it. And I'll okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll have to do an unboxing because yeah. I, I need yeah. to make sure that I have yeah. that one because if I'm missing any... <laughs> I shouldn't yeah. be missing any. I thought I picked all of them up. I'm Maybe they putting just... my hair back up because it's just so hot. Sorry to inter. Yeah. It's no, just... it's all good. It's all good. I took my I took my air off because it's pretty loud in here. So yeah, I had go. my window open and then I don't know. It seems like somebody's cutting grass. So um, I just have my fan on low. Hopefully the sound is okay for everyone. Welcome everyone who is joining. So, you sound um, is the good to me sound good? Okay, you sound good yeah. to me too. Lighting is good. You said you were having trouble seeing me. 
So this is the thing. So since I use my rear facing camera, I put it on a stand. And then what I do is um, I look at what you do in the reflection of the mirror that I'm using to put my face on. Okay. okay <laughs> I gotcha. kind of MacGyvered like a really terrible setup. But like this is what I was using before I got that other webcam. Okay. But we'll get through this together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, well, um, yeah, I can see you fine. So maybe we should get yeah. started. So yeah. what's, the Can't wait. what's the first step that you do in your makeup, Yasmin? I do primer and then I set my primer with a fluffy powder brush but I've seen you get ready before too and I know you do so I actually brought a bowl too to get ready Perfect. for my loose powder right. <laughs> okay yeah so, so I, I use this Ikea bowl for my loose powder if y'all didn't know it's perfect so I got this with this is a Tatcha bowl that came with the Cashewin cleansing brush they did a collab with Cashewin and this was the bowl that Ooh. came with that so Ooh. I just pulled this. I was like, uh, let me let me use this for my for in my like I'll wear my linen and I'll bring a bowl for my loose powder. <laughs> so classy, I love it. <laughs> it's a pretty bowl. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So the the handle is purple. It's super cute. I have I filmed the unboxing for it and I just have to do the unboxing or like edit it and then I'll upload it. But there there's been all these price increases I haven't been able to. I know. So no, right? Yeah. They have us frantic um, over here. So, so this is the, I'm using the one size secure the blur primer. Okay, so for primer, okay, you can't stay long, uh, Food A Booty. Thank you for joining anyway and stopping by to say hello. We'll post this live afterwards for any of you that have to jump in and out or that might miss it. Um, so feel free to go ahead and keep leaving those comments even after this live is posted. So I brought out this Lancome primer. This is the... Um, priming serum it's the 24-hour hydration solid smoothing primer they came out with this not too long ago and it i like it so far it's pretty good it's um it's like a very unique formula Does so i usually just smell this no oh good i don't have i don't, I don't smell a scent on it at all if there is a slight one it's not obvious welcome everyone that can be really Thank hit or miss for me Oh, you're being what so can be hit or miss? hospitable on um, scents. Like sometimes like if something smells nice, then I'm okay with it. But then if it stays on the face too long, I can't with it. Okay. Like Chanel foundations. Every time I get a Chanel foundation, I can't. Like I was like, what was I thinking when I bought this? <laughs> like sometimes like the finish can be okay and stuff, but the scent is just like, I can't. Yeah. Like, yeah, but, I know a lot yeah, of people more are for you guys. Yeah. To, yeah. Yeah, it's a shame that um, I, I guess it's some people, I guess, enjoy the sense in more luxury formulas like Chanel. Um, I, In my opinion, they should just get rid of it so that everybody can enjoy them. But, you know, it's above my pay grade, clearly. <laughs> um, to answer Owl Food Day Lover's question, this is a blurring primer. It's not a mattifying one. I do often use a mattifying primer, particularly in the summer. Um, I do have oily skin, so um, this has been a really great mattifying primer that I've been loving lately, the YSL Blotting Lotion one for anyone that's interested in that, but I love experimenting with different primers. I, I'm the type of person that I just feel like I have to put something down underneath my makeup, um, even after I've put sunscreen on. Um, Today, I just went ahead and used my uh, handy Murad foundation. If I'm going to be out in the sun, I'll do a mineral foundation but chemical if I'm just kind of like going to be staying in the house and not in the sun too much um, just because and particularly for today I didn't want to risk any pilling or anything like that underneath my makeup and this one does provide a little bit of like a blurring effect as well if anybody is curious about that I know it's nighttime where you are in New York so you probably didn't bother with sunscreen it's 3 p.m so I did not put on sunscreen and I didn't really go okay. out anywhere oh that's so right it's, I didn't um it's three yeah yeah i'm at home but then i'm I'm not one of those that i i did not put sunscreen on just for this because i'm just gonna like wash my face and stay at home yeah <laughs> like, I, I, I like exactly. to get my money's worth out of my rent <laughs> exactly exactly i know i posted about that the other day too it's like what are you doing this weekend enjoying my mortgage <laughs> so expensive. oh <laughs> i did see that <laughs> um okay so, so primer is we're on. gonna I do... usually use my fingers for primer and I don't usually bother with a brush 
Same, but I do set my primer. I saw um, Jackie Ina and Wayne Goss do this, and now like I do it all the time. Ooh, okay. So let's should do it. I? Okay. Um, should we? So now we unveil our first loose powder brushes. Yeah. In each category. Yes. Okay. So I never, never mind putting on more powder because, like I said, I'm an oily skin girly. So um, same. Yeah. So I pulled out. I have a ton of loose powders. I have a lot that I love. R.I.P. the Givenchy loose powder, the prism weave that we all loved, but just got ruined recently by, you know, some reformulating it. So do you bought the new one? And that like how like what exactly no. happened? Because I, I don't really keep like I saw it and then. OK, so no, I did not buy the new one, but um, every it, it's been the buzz on social media lately. So you just tried it, Food A Beauty, Food A Booty. Thank you for letting us know as a dry girly okay you love the new one i'm glad to hear that it works out for you and um yeah and if you do have dry skin maybe maybe it is a type of thing you like it just they added a sheen to it so the prior formula was uh like more on the matte side and it just had a more blurring quality to it and then they reformulated it they took out the talc and then now it's it has like more of a glow, like a shimmer. Okay, Owl Food A Lover said she, does it have a shimmer? Oh, she's asking if it has a shimmer. Um, the lavender hue to the 001. Yeah, I'm not familiar. Maybe different shades are different kind of uh, levels when it comes to the glowiness that they added to it. But I just, I'm leery of setting my face and my T-zone with anything glowy. Um, with the exception of a Chantecai powder that I, I'll, I have here that I was going to touch on later. This is going to be like a very special shout out, a men an honorable mention later on. So stay tuned for that. But in general, I like to keep it very matte with my powders. Um, and so that one's a good one. I love the Chantecai loose powder as well. Um, and I do understand that that one is talc free too. Um, but day to day, what I usually go and grab are the Huda Beauty powders. These are just tried and true. They're really reliable, um, mattifying, blurring. I've heard people that even even with um, combo skin or dry skin enjoy the Huda Beauty ones as well. And then I also really love the Chanel loose powders. I more so like these uh, to set the rest of my face with. I really like the Huda Beauty for under my eye under my eye and t-zone area what powders do you like yasmin i like the laura mercier translucent loose setting powder and i also really enjoy the ami cole this is the medium deep one this has a yellow tint to it and it is kind of tinted on my skin i have a problem with my undertones um foundations looking a little too ashy on me so this helps both these two powders in particular are very good at preventing that or offsetting like that gray tone on whenever I put a foundation on my skin. I usually have to either have an ashy powder to correct a foundation that pulls too orange or something yellow to warm up something that's too gray. So, okay, interesting. That's kind of where I'm at with that. Yeah. Yeah. Color theory. Love to hear it. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So, so you want to go first? Um, Which... So I have three. Like, one from each brand for loose powder is that what we're doing or should i hold them all up at the same yeah. time and then like okay i, I actually so. don't have um a mizuho brush that i use for loose powder in particular but okay. um but i well i guess i could showcase spoiler one that i could use <laughs> yeah one you that i could use for that i i have a lot less mizuho brushes than i do yeah from the other two brands so um yeah so for loose powder we could do yeah let's do hmm. okay all right so on the count of three we'll hold both of our picks up at the same time right okay okay so let me make sure that i have all of mine okay. that i am okay. going to, to i can't wait this is the first then, reveal i know it is hmm okay Koyuto Mizuho Bisyoto. Hi to all the people who are joining. Good to see everyone. Okay, so ready? One, two, three. 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 Okay, <laughs> these are mine. Hey, oh, yours are so much small. Like, you like doing pinpoint powdering. I see. Okay, 
this one, yeah, I don't have like a large Mizuho powder brush. So if I were to powder with any Mizuho brush that I have, I would probably okay. just use this guy right here. And then this one is the Grand Series Bisiotto brush. Um, I could have also gone with this one for powder, honestly, too. I was kind of tempted to use this guy. But I was thinking about that one for, too, yeah. For for this particular step, I will say, to lightly powder over primer, I was just thinking maybe something that is a little bit more airy um, and not super concentrated. And then this is probably one of the most special brushes in my collection, other than probably like the Chikahoto Kiwami set. Oh my gosh, Fraternal Twins, look at that. I got oh, this. I'm... <laughs> so happy to see that you grabbed one as well. Aren't these so special? I love them. Mine sheds like crazy. Like, look at this. Really? It's like, is that the large well, or the cheek brush? This is the large one, and then the cheek brush is right here. So this is how they oh. look compared to each okay. other. So okay. yeah, but then the I use the crap out of this large one so much because it's such a good brush. So I was like, it is. I felt that it was cheating to pick this one because the surface area is fantastic. Like washes. It's I love, well, it's your favorite too, so I'll let you talk to, talk about it. <laughs> you pulled the this Jumbo one. The Jumbo Saibi Coat. Yeah, so this is Saibi Coat yep. Goat Hair. It is the highest grade of goat hair, right, uh, out there. Yes. And it is so soft. The bristles are so fine, particularly the tips of the bristles. Um, and it's just jam-packed. This thing is full. Like, I've never probably seen a a more jam-packed, a more dense Saipi Coho goat brush. So these came and went, unfortunately, a few years back. They were available. Hopefully they'll become available again, but they truly are so special. So um, I had to pull this one out and this is what I would use to dip into my little powder bowl here like so. I did showcase this on one of my YouTube videos. Um, my YouTube channel is Makeup Esquire but I just kind of had a moment with this brush and I just showcased how I um, used this for, I think it was like finished the last step. I like using this brush for finishing powder as well. So they also did a Fox version. This was back in the day too. Ooh, I don't so have that this one. Is like, they're basically the same size, but the hairs are a little bit shorter and it's way denser. So, and so since it's denser, it's also way more annoying to wash. So. I don't um, like I don't not recommend it, but it's like kind of know what you're going getting yourself into. And then here's the Deka Fupa as well. Um, it's about the same. So it's like these are the three Kyudo chonkers. Um, I tried using this for face powder, but in my opinion, it doesn't work that well for it. Um, Interesting. It's, I like using it to blend um, cream because the hairs are almost too short for its own good. So those are those are like the chonker Kyudo brushes. But then for my three selections, I have the Kyoto White Canadian Squirrel Large Powder Brush, the Bisiotto, this is labeled. So this is the GF01, and this is the Mizuho SP2. So out of these, I mean, this is just absurd, right? So I would not Beautiful. recommend this to anyone unless they're like a serious collector. Like this is not like, this is not great for travel. This isn't a multitasker, like this is just, if you're as much of a clown as we are, then go for it. But this is not like a nice, like this is not a necessity by any means. We're getting some questions in. Oh, did the dead animal scent subside on the large WCS one? It was on the smaller one that I had that problem and it did subside and it was thanks to your help. Elf Fude Lover DM'd me because I wrote this whole manifesto on my Instagram page about how stinky my brush was. And she's like, did you try putting it in baking soda? And I was like, oh my God, what a good idea. <laughs> and it worked. Wow. So the, wow. It took a few days for it to subside, but after like, it, I have no problems with it at all. So if you have that problem. Yeah, if my mom is still on this love her chat, talking off the ledge, yeah, yeah. That's a good tip I'm gonna give her. Cause she was, um, I, I've talked, I mentioned on here before that um, I've been, I've tried to get my mom into food a she's not that into food a as I am but she talked about how she she got a set that I recommended um not too long ago from I just told her to get start with a set from AliExpress it was a goat mm -hmm. hair brush oh nice set. and she said that she can still smell the the scent on it so I'll tell her to use some yeah uh, baking soda 
And then any other questions? Oh, love the powder bowl idea. Where did you get it? I The one that I'm using, I got at Ikea. And Yasmin, you can show the one you're using. Oh. So I, I don't usually use a powder bowl. I did it in honor of Noel because we were collabing together. But this is this came with the um, Kashuin Tatcha collab. So if you go on Tatcha's website, they have um, this cleaning brush there that they did a collab with another Fude brand called Kashuin. They're another Kumano Fude brand, but their presence online isn't as big, but they're more of like a deep cut type of brand. So um they they have some good brushes. I'll do some deep dives because every January they do a lucky bag give um, special as well. So that's like the only time they'll have sales. So I posted one photo, but I'll probably do a get ready with me with cash and brushes at some point in the future. Okay, great. great. Hi, Bobo. Who did Bobo just joins? Oh my gosh, you. Bobo joins. It's it's probably like two a.m. in Japan. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, oh, such an honor to have you here. I know. Thanks so much for joining. Yeah. Okay. Um, Good tips for the, um, to get rid of the smell on the brushes. Thank you for everyone that's asking and commenting on that. Yeah. I would probably refrain from something that sounds too harsh, like rubbing alcohol, just because you don't want to ruin or dehydrate the bristles too much. So. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. Um, Hopefully the. I'm ready, for, soda. I'm ready for foundation. How about you? Yes, me too. All right, which ones did you bring? I'll bring out mine. Okay. On the count of three. One, okay. one two, two, three. Three. Oh, <laughs> for my foundation, I have Armani Luminous Silk. Okay, Armani Luminous Silk. I didn't even... Yeah. I don't know why I thought oh. we were... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, foundation my Foundation brushes. I have the foundation Spoilers. brushes. Spoilers. Okay, sorry. Okay, <laughs> okay what? So I'll speak oh, through wait. them while you pull the... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay, Mizuho, Bisiodo. And then Koyuro. Okay, I'm yes. ready. So these are mine. All right. Oh, oh, smart. Excellent choices. I feel like you like this one is kind of cheating though. I know. <laughs> the oh, the bubble this Yodo one. It's like this is like on it's such a like a high level. And then the, these are like I don't know. Like they're great, but you know, don't get me wrong. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know. So because this one might be cheating and because I've showcased this on my channel multiple times before, I also just actually got a, a package in from Food A Bobo last night and I ordered this um, Bisiota one. So I figured I can just use this one okay. as an alternative today um, because I haven't tried it and it'll be first impressions and I've heard, heard great things about this one. This one's an all synthetic one. Yeah, this one. This one is good. Um, you have to let me know what you think about it because I'll share my opinions as well. Because um, I'd be very interested to see how you use it and um, what you think about it. And I liked your Kyudo choice. That was a that was a smart one. That's um you got the was that the larger one or the smaller one? That was the Kalinsky one, right? Yes, this one's the Kalinsky one, and Twizzies. I thought of Al Food A Lover. <laughs> she requested that um we showcase the Kalinsky Koyuto brushes, face brushes on this live if we could, because, okay, she's asking about the Koyuto synthetic. Yes, I'll go ahead and use this for foundation. This wouldn't be something that I would, like, is a go-to for foundation, but it is that special to where um, I could see myself using this for a lot of uh, steps if I needed to. But I also have the same Yoshiki series, I think, that you have, Yasmin, the, with the gold handles. Yes. Um, and then those are uh, right here. Actually. So we got a question in the chat about how the tapered Kalinsky one works with foundation. It's fantastic for foundation. It's almost like a scaled up version of um, the, this has a very, um, this has a lot of bend to it, but it's almost like using like that Zoeva 110 or something like um, this works great with skin tint as well, just providing a light coverage. It's really good for that. I wouldn't recommend it for using like a cream foundation, but I do like it for liquids. Um, I also have this Shakuda 812. This is very similar to the Wayne Goss at four, but it's a little more concentrated and it has a bit of a curve here. Um, and then for Bisiota, like I said, the Kalinsky one is almost cheating. So you said that you were going to use the 517. We have a request for the Kalinsky Bisiota for foundation. So I'll use that for this. Um, okay. Yeah. 
And then the other yeah. two, so Mizuho, this one's a pure synthetic brush from Mizuho for foundation. That is actually a great one to use like as a workhorse uh, brush for foundation. So that one's great. And then I'm really sorry to hear um, that the um, large Kalinsky foundation brush is sold out, but I did in my order last night receive this cheek brush and I'm sure this one could probably be used for foundation. I don't know. I, I won't speak too soon because I haven't tried it yet. It does seem airier and a little bit floppier, but technically I think in theory, this one could also be used for foundation as a close second to this guy right here. It'll be kind of like using a larger version of this. I feel like, like the, um, the Cayuto ones, but, um, the Kyoto ones actually have more bend to them than the uh, Bisyoto ones, but True. in any case, I, I'll uh, get this on my face and I'll okay. demo this one. Yeah. Are you a daughter or like, um, I guess it depends on the foundation and stuff or like how much time I have. How about you? How are you with that? Um, you know, it does. I agree. It depends on how much time I have. So um, I'm just going to be like slapping this on with um this little like spoolie here just because it's in a pot and i don't like this mechanism of um foundation but oh well i like the foundation that much so i put up with it but if i am like really really in a rush then i will probably try not to even bother with anything too creamy or liquidy and go with something that's a lot quicker to apply for instance like a cushion foundation um like the clay to poe cushion foundation is really great too um it's also really great to like dip this bisioto kalinsky brush into this and just dab it all over the face because they're typically natural finishes i could get away with not needing to set them with tons of powder and it just makes the process a lot quicker or even something like a more solid type of cream formula like a stick foundation if i'm in a, a really really big rush Wayne Goss Holiday 2021 brush. Oh, that, oh, I didn't like that brush. I, I guess um, I'll have, have to think, I'll have to noodle on that one. Like, or, so you want like a really large, dense brush with a lot of surface area. I'll have to think about that and get back to you. Oh, so let's, um, let's put this Kalinsky Foundation brush in action. The, the public wants to know. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to use a synthetic one and look at me over here, just automatically. It's just an automatic. It's just that good. I don't know. It's, it's like, how, I know, I know. How do you have a Bugatti and not want to drive it, right? Like I know, seriously. You, and you, you know, have to settle for the Ferrari instead, right? Like <laughs> Right, exactly. And, you know, I didn't give, like, these choices that much thought. Like, sometimes you know, later I'm asked something on the spot, just like on the fly. And then later I'm kicking myself because I'm like, oh, I forgot about that one or whatever the case might be. I think like last time I was asked what my all time favorite bronzer brush was and it was hard for me to think. And then later I thought of a couple other ones that would be good candidates, but I'll leave that to a different time. Oh, so I, got... I really do like this one so far though. It's not pokey at all. And um, oh. I'm watching you use it, and I noticed that we're doing the same thing because if you if you saw me hold this brush, I held it basically from the midpoint of the bottom half of the handle. For the five seventeen, I have to hold it at the ferrule to yeah, blend right as here. well. So I, yeah, because the balance point is further up in the ferrule, mm -hmm. so it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just kind of like you like you pick like. For me, I pick up a brush and it's like, wait, what? This feels weird. Oh, okay, it feels better over here. Totally. So and I, I of, knew yeah. exactly what you meant as soon as I touched this brush for the first yeah. time. I picked it up yesterday. So um, Yasmin described it wonderfully in her post. But yes, the weight is concentrated on this part of the handle. So unlike the Kalinsky one, it, the weight is more evenly distributed across the brush. So we're so sorry to rub it in. We'll move on from the topic. Yeah, no, she's telling us to apply our foundation. That's what I was thinking. I thought so too at first, and then I remembered oh my God. that she was bummed. Oh, wait, hey, we were full. Like you're, you're in the clown car. Get in. <laughs> Come on, we're going for a ride. Yeah, for, for real. Um, so top heavy on the Bisciotto synthetic one. Yes, it is top heavy. 
That one, yeah, the synthetic Visiota one, and top I, heavy for sure. First, I thought it would bother me, um, but as I'm using it right now, I actually it doesn't really bother me. Like it, yeah, it's like fine. it takes some getting used mm -hmm. to because at first I was like oh okay and then it's like you think something's wrong with it but then I wear glasses on occasion so I would like this because it would help me like lean into a mirror when I don't have my glasses on mm -hmm. so it's not bad but it's just um it, it could come in handy yeah totally okay so I think somebody had asked a question about something similar to the wing off holiday brush is that the large very dense one I don't have that one yes but I because, have that one because we're on the oh, topic of um, these three brands. I have handy here some that maybe could serve the same type of purpose. Um, I picked up this Koyudo um, and CD Japan collab. It has a pretty oh, you dense, got that one, yeah, yeah. Um, has it's pretty dense. It has a good amount of hairs packed in there. They're nice and soft. I don't feel any pokiness, but. Of, of course, the surface size is probably smaller than the Wayne Goss one that's larger, but I could see this being used for all the same purposes, really. It's airy enough, go, it's not too dense. I'm going to go grab mine, and then um, we'll compare. Sure. This is another one it's... that's same idea. It's the um, the Kuyuto Fupa with the long handle. Oh, that, the Deka Fupa, you mean? I think so. Oh, is it this one? Yeah, that's it. That's the same thing that I had with the, oh, that's, that's this guy. So these are the same, this is okay. the Deka Fupa 01, yeah, but your, your handle was longer. I got the chubby one. Gotcha. So that's, okay. that's why, yeah. So the, the Fupas in general are good style, like alternative style type of, it's the same idea. They're nice and chunky. They get the job done super quickly. Um, yeah, day to day, I, I mean, I don't even know if I've really put this one to use. I kind of get these just for the looks of them. Um, as you can yeah. see behind me, if I turn this a little bit, like right there, I have some of these little chunky guys displayed and I like to oh, that's switch cute. them out. So. Thank you. Yeah, I got so, the little stand from um, Muji, if anybody's wondering. Does the handle feel cheap or the fuwa fuwa that can which um which handle were you talking about el fude lover i wasn't sure um so this is the wayne goss 2021 brush um it's this is how it looks head on um hmm. i don't i there's really nothing quite like it um yeah but like a large flat dense brush this one is not like it I'm sorry to say, because this one has more flexibility to it. But I do concealer. How about you, Noel? Okay. Like, what's, yeah, what's your next yeah, totally. step? Totally. We can I was move like, on wait, to let the me, next step yeah, here. Let me not. Um... Okay, yeah. I, also, I do also concealer saw... usually, too, okay. after okay. my foundation. So I saw this reel where Katie Jane Hughes does this thing where she puts concealer on the back of her hand and then mixes it with and then applies with a fluffy brush versus Ooh, just like a, directly like to the face I so like, like oh technique. let me try that but then the thing is now it's like the concealer brush it changes the type of brush that i use when i do this interesting so um okay so i'm trying to gather my thoughts here so we got koyuto concealer Visioto concealer Bisciotto concealer, Bisciotto concealer, Bisciotto concealer. Okay. Um, oh, gosh. Hmm. Bisciotto. It's going to be. Oh, okay. And then Mizuho concealer. So are we holding up our favorite products for this again? Okay, let's do brushes first. And then okay, yeah. Products. Got it. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, two, three. Three. Hey! Oh, we got the same brush. Look at that. Oh, for Koyuro? Yeah, okay. look at that. Okay. I have the, yeah, this the white light. Like, yeah. It's, it's hard to, yeah, think of anything more special than this one, right? When it comes to Koyuto, this one's a really special collab from Bobo and Koyuto. Yeah. I like that one. 
concealer data entry. Love this. <laughs> and and then, then as far as the other two brands, um, tell us about your picks. So this is the Bobo Bisioto Kalinsky collab brush. I like, so this is different from the BES-01. It's a little smaller. So where is that? I think that's, oh gosh. You know that round one that everyone talks about? I pulled it out and now I can't find, oh, here it is. So yes, it's a little bit smaller um, and the hair, yeah, the hairs are a little shorter and the ferrule comes in more, whereas this one has more give to the ferrule. But this one, so this one is a lot firmer and the hairs are shorter but it works well for eye makeup as well as under eye concealer. So that's my Bisioto pick. And then for Mizuho pick, this Shakudo one is a really good multitasker mm. for um, mm. not only foundation, but it's small enough that I can kind of use it around my eyes as well. So this is gonna be my, um, my go-to. Okay, After interesting. Yeah, so what you got? So um, I, Okay, I was, I felt like it was cheating to choose either of these two for concealer just because I just, they just arrived last night. But to be That's honest with you, fair. just by looking at them, like I can already tell that these are going to be favorites for concealer more so than this one. I just automatically, my brain went to this one because we had mentioned that this one's like sole purpose is pretty much for concealer. Like I can't really think of anything else that it would probably be better to use this for other than maybe you can get away with like slapping on like a cream or a liquid eyeshadow with this guy too. Um, but I think it was just like particularly made for concealer. It's not one that I um, use on a daily basis for concealer. But I thought that that deserved a special shout out just because I respect that Bisioto thinks outside the box and does make unique brushes like this one and like their uh, quote unquote so-called finger brush here that is a smaller little synthetic brush. So I give them credit for that. And then, um, but yeah, I definitely, I was so excited that Bobo was com coming out with these two because I could totally see these being like holy grail concealer brushes and um i have uh that beso what is what was this the the two that you oh, mentioned you're better with I the think names that's the, or yeah, the one that's the one yeah the, the one, one is that okay. one the two is the flat one here gotcha okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. The, i have yeah. that one here too okay this one is also okay. a runner-up as like a a favorite for concealer from bisioto i think everybody it should have a flat Kalinsky brush like this in their collection, whether it's from Bisioto. I love this Tensato um, KC12S1. Yeah. The BES06 um, is the one to get, in my opinion. Is that, okay, yeah, that's this one, right? Yeah, the, yeah, the small one. Because if you just want a little bit of Kalinsky or you want to like dip your toe in the pool or something, this is the one to get ahead of the price increase. Um, is that the one with um, the shorter bristle? Yeah, this is the, yeah, this is the small, the, oh no, that's this one, the Kalinsky oh, okay. one. okay. Yeah, I do have that shorter bristle one too, spoilers. Wait, is, is it this one or are you holding up a different one? No, I'm holding up that one, yeah. Oh, the same I one. I think okay, yours, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Because yeah, it had one. a short handle version. Okay, I have the long, because I prefer my handles long whenever I can get a long version one. I and then, don't what, dislike, oh, go ahead, sorry. No, 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 no go ahead. So I was going to say, I don't dislike the um, tapping concealer brush, but it's so annoying to wash. I just don't yeah. like, I'm just like, okay, that's my only beef with it. Like, but I mean, like having to wash your brushes, that one's just, like a real royal pain in the, the behind to, to wash for me, at least. I don't know about like who likes washing their brushes. I completely <laughs> agree with you. Yeah. yeah. And the more dense, yeah. The bigger of yeah. pain they can be. Oh yeah. The finger brush. I don't have it. Uh, the name off the top of my head right now. Yasmin, do you have this finger brush? I know that they call it the finger brush, don't they? The this one from Bisoto. Which finger brush? No, I don't have that one. I think let me um I have if, the I have my laptop like right next to me. So let me see do, if, if I can. If you type um, in Bisioto finger brush, it probably has like a coded name just like they all do, but but I think in the description it mentions that they created this to be similar to a finger long series oh bes09 that's what it's called okay that's this one thank you for asking okay 
Um, what do you guys use for setting concealer? Okay, so I guess we should move on. Uh, oh, yeah, wait, we should probably I was talking about my yeah get going on the concealer. Um, I had just brought out a couple of Mizuho options that you can use for concealer. Those are these three right here. Mm -hmm. Technically, even maybe this one. I was gonna give this one a special shout out later. This one's a horse one, but I think of this one to use more as like an eyeshadow brush. But oh, that one's um, cute. These, yeah, it's a it's a chunky little dense guy. It's just unique. And then there's these two flat shape options um, that I have from Mizuho. And then there's this one that technically, it's like a small foundation brush. So that looks just, like, just like, like this. Yeah, it's similar. But uh, you're, this one is like, I, I, don't, I forget what type of grade of hair it is technically, but it kind of feels like Sokoho. Yeah, there's a question a that rougher. says, is um, Mizuho the OEM for Shakura? Yes, they are. So um there this is also made it like kumano fure uh, mizuho makes shakura brushes yeah um oh yeah so let's get to applying what are you gonna use i'll try using this um this yodo finger brush here unless you if, unless you wanted to use that or oh no know. um I, i'm going to be actually trying out my um my two new ones that came in today oh yeah me too my new toy yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if okay, it's thing here. to use too, but sometimes like I like to apply my concealer with like a more flat one and get into the crevices and um and then use a thicker one to just kind of like really blend it all out and push it in. Um so for actual concealers, I brought out my hourglass ones just because those are just like my go-to um no-brainer, like they'll never they're just tried and true. They they won't do me dirty. They have good coverage. Um, how about you? What are you using for concealer? I just color corrected with Givenchy, and then I'm going to layer with um, Pat McGrath concealer today. I use the shade um, 15 for concealer. Okay, I have this. Um, the I have three different shades in these. I like to color correct too. I know we both have uh, share a love for the Sicily color corrector. I have this one here handy. Oh, love smart. that one. Smart. But I have apricot, which has a slightly peachier tone. And then um, if I'm in a rush and I don't want to use two different products for color corrector and concealer, that's kind of how I'll do it. I'll just reach for a concealer that has a slightly peachier, pinkier tone, and then one more um, close to my skin tone, which would be the beach here, and then sepia for brightening. These Shakura brushes, the Ubu series, I like them. They're um, if you miss the boat on the original Wayne Goss brushes, um, I think that they're a good, they're an adequate substitute. The only thing is that a lot of them, um, it's mo it's mostly the handles you'd be paying for if you were to get these, not necessarily because they do anything that much better than other lines out there. Okay, thank you for taking that phone yeah. away because I don't own Shakura <laughs> brushes. Yeah, like they're good. And and like the handles are pretty and everything, but it's not like um, yeah, like they don't do anything that's like marginally. How much are the shakura? Um, I think this one was ten. Oh, so this is the thing too with shakura brushes. You they don't charge you the import taxes. You have to pay when they get delivered. So um, with the yen the way it is, it's kind of like. 30% off once you divide by 100. And then um, I think there's like maybe 10% import duties I had to pay on my, or like 1% I had to pay when my um, my brushes got delivered. But their website, you can, um, I bought it directly from the Shakura website. Um, there's an English option. It wasn't like I had to use a Tenso address or anything like that. It was pretty painless. Okay, so we're getting some uh, questions here that I want to make sure to answer. Uh, after concealer, y'all go over with a sponge. Um, it depends on how much time I have, really. If I use a sponge, um, I don't like the hassle of having to wet the sponge and just make sure it's clean before every use. But I do like to use um, a sponge more so for like uh, setting with powder. 
Um, and so I don't always go in and go over my concealer with a damp sponge after I use a brush. How about you, Yasmin? I do sometimes. Um, I do, I have had the issue with, especially for concealer, if I do set with a sponge, it can lift the concealer off my face. Yeah. And then I'll end up with like patches. That's exactly so it depends why, on, yeah. yeah. So it really depends on what I'm using. But um, if I just like, like with the, I, I use this color combination and I did just run a sponge over it because I know I haven't, I wouldn't have that problem with these. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of, it kind of depends based on um, the products I'm the using products. and everything. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. And how much yeah, time too, to, yeah. True, time too. How, Owl Food A Lover says she, I think, likes to use the finger brush for a shimmer lay down. Um, she wants to see, Owl Food A Lover asked to see the difference in the density between the two weasel brushes. As I'm using them here, um, yeah, we're, we're going to get to setting our concealer probably next. So thank you for asking. Uh, and so I'm like trying to hold back my excitement and joy that I just felt right now when I was using these, to be honest with y'all. These are really special. I highly recommend going to grab these. Um, I'm very impressed. One is just a more flatter version. One is more round. Don't ask me which one you should get because right now they're tied. Um, off the top of your head, Yasmin, do you know if there's a price difference in these? I don't even know. I don't, um, let me, I have the, the website open. <laughs> so I was like, let me just pull yeah. all this up because That's I had smart. a feeling, yeah. Um, these are, they just feel so lovely. They're super soft. Um, the large, very... the flatter one is cheaper by okay. about that a thousand sense. That makes yeah. sense. Probably has uh, less hair in there. Um, it's kind of hard to find like denser, but like smaller Kalinsky brushes on the Japanese food market. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I agree. Uh, you're a hundred percent right. Because it's like, since the hair is so expensive, like the brush makers are like, Oh, let's make it like really worth it. And like, they put all these bells and whistles on them, but, but sometimes it's like, They're you don't stingy. really want that. Right. Yeah. So it's like, that's why it's like, okay, yeah, that's great. Flat. Yeah. So, oh, and then I also use, um, I have this Sisley number four for um, pinpoint concealing. So. Ooh, nice. Um, I have that one too. Yeah. I think I have two, 2.5, three and four, I think are the three shades that I have in this Sisley uh, corrector, which I think number two is my favorite out of all of the shades. Um, just because it's the one with the more pinky peachy hue and i use that one for color correcting and it's my favorite color corrector but but they're all smart really lovely formulas <laughs> okay i'm having I'm a blast right concealer. now me too i, feel I need hope to you say all that like this is same, so much fun. same i hope you all are enjoying this um okay so should we go on to the next step uh sure yeah it was under eye setting powder right let me just um blend all this this nonsense out that I just put on oh, my face. But okay, yeah, so are we doing, um, <laughs> are you doing brushes or um, powder first? Um, let's see. Let's do, we'll just, mm, I'll just talk about the powder since that one's not gonna be like a spoiler or anything. Um, okay. Like I, I just mentioned that I love the Huda Beauty powders, the loose powders for, uh, setting underneath my eyes. So these are typically a go-to. Um, but as far as compacts go, I pulled out a couple of these here um, that I picked up recently. One is this YSL matte, um, just like a compact. This is the All Hours Hyper Finish Translucent one. The packaging got me. The YSL packaging is so lovely. It's beautiful. I had my eye on that, yeah. If any of y'all oh, have this one. Let me know what your thoughts are. It comes with this little thing underneath there that you can travel with and um, blot. It is a little bit on the bulky side, though, I will say. So just keep that in mind. And then um, this Clay de Poe one I brought out, too. It's just like a compact setting powder. Lovely. Um, but special shout out to the Chantecaille. This is the perfect blur finishing powder. 
love this one. Oh um, yeah, I have, yeah, that's a good one. Love it, yeah. So very special. So if I were to just like set lightly with something like with a compact, um, I would probably use any formulas like that. But um, yeah, it depends on kind of the weather, how dry or how um, oily my skin is feeling how long I'm going to be wearing my makeup as far as like how well I want to set it. And if I'm going with like a lightweight concealer or a heavier concealer, that kind of all depends as well. Um, awesome. Have either of you tried getting custom brushes made? I have not because I got, I'm busy buying all these price increase brushes. So rude. I was actually going to, so I planned out all my, like I kind of had like a set thing in my mind, like, okay, I'll get these customs and then like, I'll post these. And then I saw on Instagram, these brands were doing their price increases. So I couldn't buy my customs. I was like, let me just focus on this stuff first and then I'll get customs. Cause like the customs are customs. They're not really going anywhere. So that was my right. approach. And, um, but I have not, it's on my to-do list. And people, I've only seen them get customs from Chinese brands and Takeda, right? Am I missing anything? From my understanding, that's the case, but I'm sure if you had enough money that you could throw at some of these brands, you can make a custom Hakuhodo or something like that, but I'm nowhere near that point yet. <laughs> wow. wow, I don't know if I've ever met anybody or seen anybody post any custom Hakuhodo brushes. Um, let me know. I'm if sure. Any have. Probably. Maybe it's like they just keep it a secret. Speculative. Like, yeah. Gatekeeper. Exactly. Like there's some secret society or something like that. Interesting. Um, yeah, I just started I like, getting into yeah. food a few years back, so it's not like I. Um, Yasmin has been collecting for a lot longer than I have. Yeah. Oh yeah. How did you get into it? I feel you. We were talking on that, not knowing where to start. Yeah, there's just, I haven't even gone there just because I, same with Yasmin, I agree. We're really similar in a lot of ways. We both like getting our makeup on sale if we can. It's rare that I ever don't get my makeup on sale. If I don't get my makeup on sale, it's because it's limited edition or it's like not going to go on sale regardless, like Chanel or something like that. Um, typically that's kind of, or I have some sort of deal, but yeah, it's, it's usually like rare that I get something full price if later on it's going to go on sale. Um, and then same with the custom brushes. I haven't let myself go down that rabbit hole yet because I have enough non-custom brushes, but um, maybe one day I might consider it. I'm thinking more so for Takeda. If I could probably choose a top food a brand off the top of my head um, where I would really focus on investing going forward. Now that I ha just have so many of like the core staples, it would probably be Takeda, but we'll see. I'm going to have to Same. save up for that. But I would like, you mentioned something just now that I would really like to touch on when you said that we were really similar. Um, I would like to point out that this is a, this is completely true story. We have the same shower curtain. <laughs> we didn't That's even right. know it. <laughs> we do. We do. That was so funny. <laughs> yeah. Noelle posted the selfie in her bathroom and I was like, I have the same shower curtain. Yeah. It's so true. We keep finding out that we relate in so I know. It's like, oh my God, me too, me too. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So I got my brushes ready. I'm just using this one size translucent powder for my under eyes. Um, are we doing, so we just went through products. We're ready to do brushes, right? Uh, uh, yes. I am finalizing my choices here for under Final eye answer. Locked powder. in. You're not allowed to change your mind. Okay. Okay, on the count of three, I'm just making sure I made the right choice. Well, okay, one, two, three. Oh, we actually matched one. Look at that. Hey, look at wow. that. Wow, shout out to the Pisciotto GH01. This is a good one. This one's special, isn't she? It is, yeah. And then I like the point because you can get into this general area when you use it. Um, this is the Shakuda number 820. Oh, you can also get the option of engraving your Shakuda brushes online. So I got my name engraved here. That's cute. Um, cool. I don't know. Like growing up, I never got anything personalized or it always say Jasmine on it. So I could never uh, use it. So it would uh, always be really salty about personalized stuff. Yeah. And yeah. then this is the Red Canadian Squirrel High Grade Psycho brush from um Kyoto. is that this one uh, yeah that, that's yeah oh. that's exactly this one okay and, and then, then but 
for the G. H01, if you get the Biciotto eye set, they're very similar in size. So that could be a good dupe for you as well. So this is the Purple Heart version. Um, so they're similar enough in size to where, in my opinion, you don't need to get both of them. It's just like if you want to hop in the clown car with me, you can get them both. Is this yeah. One? yeah, that's it. Yeah, you have the Yakusugi yeah. handle version, right? I have the yeah, Yakusugi so that's handle. This. Yeah. So they're very similar in density and softness and everything. Maybe this, um, the GH01 is a smidge softer and it feels way better in the hand. The weight is fantastic. Okay, so is your, um, you said Shakuda, is, is that uh, squirrel? The, uh, yes, this is gray squirrel. This is brush number 820. Okay. The I'm not familiar series. with Shakuda. I don't have any of those. Um, yeah, they're made by Mizuho. Um, when so in 2019, I like before the world shut down, I did the Fude Matsuri. Like I went to that brush festival in um, Kumano, oh, and awesome. they were selling these there. Yeah, so it's when so I got these recently. So I'm gonna post this unboxing tomorrow, actually. But they were selling there there in the stands, and I was like, oh, I really want those. Like I'll get those one day. And then I saw that. Mizuho was raising their their prices like, well, I guess I got to get them now. Yeah. That day is today. Right. So then I, yeah, I agree. This one's a really unique shape. It's more dense, closer to the ferrule. And I love the nice pointy shape here. Perfect to get into those crevices just to kind of um, use a lightweight setting powder underneath the eyes. But because I, I'm a powder girly and I usually love going in with more powder. So if you have dry skin and you're just kind of like, pinpoint powdering this one's perfect for that um but i like to kind of pack on my powder more than that so um I, I would go in with either of these for that step this one's a little bit too on the fluffy side this one's a mizuho one but it's quite unique in the sense that um it's almost kind of like a 3d shape so this one's oh. i think a pine squirrel but it's pretty soft it's not the softest it's not as soft as um, for instance, like this Biciotto pine squirrel, which feels more like Canadian squirrel. Because when I think of pine squirrel versus Canadian squirrel, in my head, Canadian squirrel is, red Canadian squirrel is softer than pine squirrel. But this one's like pretty much as soft as any red yeah. Canadian squirrel I've felt. Um, so this one would be more of a go-to for under eye setting powder. I love this one. I could have also used this one as a concealer brush as well. This one's a good Kalinsky. And this one just actually came back in stock on Fude Bubble's website. If she still has any of these, I highly recommend them. I know it's a pretty price tag and I am not one to get doubles. So if I have a backup of any brush, it just goes to show how much I really, really, really love it. Um, I recently picked up a backup from Fude Bobo of this little guy here. I figured, you know, I could see because the original one I think I got from Fude Beauty. So they are slightly different. And um, yeah, it's I'm not um, upset that I picked up a second because this one was just like a really unique shape for me. I could also even see somebody using this one for under eye setting powder as well. If you just kind of want to touch up a little bit throughout the day, a highlighter, powder contour, um, one and done eyeshadow. So many uses for this little guy here. It's a very unique one. But yeah, I would go in with this one. I really love this one for powder highlight as well. So I like using that um, Kalinsky brush for um, cream highlight. Like this and the Westman Atelier highlight is like perfect duo. So for blending it out and everything, like these two together, fantastic. Nice. Yeah, I have those Westman Atelier ones too. I typically just use my finger because um, I didn't even think that to use this one for that. But that would be the perfect choice for a brush to use with the uh, Westman Atelier cream highlights. I just got a notification that said that my phone's overheating. So if my connection is choppy or anything, that's probably why. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh man. Is it really hot there? Well, I don't know. I'm just, well, if you know me, I ran my mouth. So <laughs> and then I got the lights going and stuff. So it's, um, I wouldn't be surprised if that's contributing to it. Okay, I think, let me see if we're getting all these questions. Did you say 
brush festival. Yes. Um, in Kumano, Japan, every year there is a brush festival where the brush makers kind of celebrate and they sell brushes at a discount and everything. And I went in 2019 and it was a lot of fun. So I do recommend. I would love to go there brand that you both too. chose. Is, is that which one is that? Okay, so this is the GH01 that we both chose. Do you know the difference? This one is flat and then the other other one I think is round. The GHC01 is going to be round, but let me double check. Uh, pine squirrel and pony. Okay, thank you, Owl Food Day Lover. Yes, please correct me if I get any of these wrong. Um, so I guess I think you're talking about this one that has pine squirrel and pony in it. It's a little weird shape. Yeah, it's unique in that the shape is weird. I don't have any other shape like this. It almost looks like they hand bundled it like kind of um like they made a mistake like they meant to make it like perfectly pointed but they didn't because i've heard and seen others talk about theirs and it's the same it's like an angle um Linsky koyudo is great highly recommend before the price increase Pine school okay yeah i think we're getting to the zero grand you answered that one okay Think we're caught up. I'm ready for face powder. Next if you are, yeah, I do, I usually do uh, face powder. Okay, I'm ready for that. Um, press okay. face powder. I'm have to just give me two seconds to think. Okay, I think I'm ready. You ready for the for your brushes? Oh my gosh. This is, this, I feel like this is mean because it's like pressed powder brushes are like my favorite. So, um, I, I know, I know it's a lot of these are just hard decisions to make. That's why I'm just, I let myself make it on the fly because it's just going to be like what I automatically think of. Smart. Okay. You ready for, are we doing brushes or powder? Yeah. Brushes first, right? Brushes. Yeah. Let's do brushes. Okay. okay. One, One, three, and two, two three. three. Oh, I was gonna pull, pull that one. Oh, I was gonna do That's that one so too. Funny. See, I was gonna do those for bronzer. Okay, yeah. See, and then I almost chose this one, but I figured it'd be cheating because I just got this. I know. I, I was gonna do that it, too. I could see this one being <laughs> good for that too. And then I was gonna do this one, but I just talked about this one. But honestly, you can do that this one's one. It's okay. This is the go. <laughs> this is the go. Like okay. I just have to. Okay. Yeah, this is an alternative for all over powder that I've used with the Shantikai one that I'm going to use that one. So this one's a great one. Um, it's nice and dense and soft. And then and these are the blue Fox version of mm -hmm. this guy. So this is, I keep mine in brush guard, so it's not like round and poofy, but yeah, these are basically the same. Um, and then I'm an undyed goat girly like through and through. So I have that one. I was going to pull this one, but then I was like, no, that like, we just spoke about that one. And then, yeah, I have the Fox one here, but it's discontinued, so I don't want to pull it, like, all these decisions. Yeah, yeah, totally. This is why this is, it's hard, because when, I know. You, when you're an avid collect clown lector like Yasmin and I here, <laughs> there's just so many options, and it, it just, sometimes it depends on what you're using. Sometimes it depends on how your skin is feeling. So, um, like for instance, I, this one's really special to me. This one's the, the Koyuto P, um, I think it's like the P, they remember the P series. It's like three of them. Do, I do remember that the special series. Yeah. Yeah. So these aren't available anymore. I didn't want to give anybody, you know, the FOMO if they don't have them, but this one was their like, uh, similar to the Hakuhodo, uh, G series mix of, um, goat and squirrel hair. This was like Kyuto's version, but it's different because they just like, they just made them differently. 
the the squirrel hair is a little bit longer than the goat hair um as opposed to how hakuhodos they're all the same length so you just like feel mostly like the tips are just the the squirrel the um i think it's gray or blue squirrel and then and then the uh psychoho goat hair i'm assuming it's psychoho gives it the structure but like i said these aren't available anymore so um those are really special and then this was a close second as well when it comes to koyudo these two i don't know the names but uh, fude bobo had them in stock on her website for a little bit um hopefully they come back in stock one day but these are really great as well goat and fox and then um i have two of these canadian squirrel face brushes from koyudo and they're just really special they're a little bit different as you can see just because of the bundling um i don't know if that was you know on purpose or not but one is a more uh flat style and one is more pointed oh that's interesting but these are i, didn't I think that. i think like you mentioned having one yes exactly you have them too okay yeah and i have one really white and one red yeah perfect yeah they're they're very unique and and dynamic like in the sense that you can use them for all sorts of things set with powder blush bronzer i could even see myself in a pinch using this for powder contour maybe even powder highlight for highlight yeah like yeah it works totally yeah and then um so I what am i actually gonna too, use but that's the white uh, yeah. Canadian squirrel. I don't have the large white Canadian squirrel though. So okay. So hmm. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to decide what I'm actually going to be using too. Let's see. Yeah, this one was. This one's just great for this step. Just to. I know. So it's, it's like if, if hard not to use this it, one. Like, what are we? Gonna... I know. You know, let's do it yolo like there are collection like is, we got right. them whatever I know. when it when <laughs> it comes favorites. to seriously yeah when it comes to um mizuho i like i said i only have a limited amount of mizuho brushes like i could probably just hold them all up right here These yeah and then like the miz are like most of mine are shakura yeah not the oh yeah um, Julian, or the... yeah is so the i don't up the i don't same... have too many for the red and white Canadian squirrel. In my experience, yes. Yeah, I same. would say so too. Yeah. Um, let me demo this here fox brush just just cuz why not? I'll demo this red Canadian squirrel. We're just going to like our faces going to have like five layers of powder on it cuz we're demoing all these brushes. I know, it's hard to stop <laughs> because it's just you could just do this all day, can't you? I know. Oh, I know. Yeah, that fox one is really, really um, special. Yeah, I got the um, like the small, medium, large. I knew I was like, oh, I want that one. It's like, yup, I'm clown, I'm clowning out. <laughs> yeah, uh, I wish I had gotten that... into food a sooner, but then again, I'm also grateful I didn't just because I think the time for me was perfect. Um, I was gonna answer that how I got into food a, so I um. For me, I was watching this YouTube reviewer that I love. Her name is Tara Lynn. And um, she was talking about the Charlotte Tilbury, the Airbrush, Airbrush Flawless Finish um, powder that I, for a while, it was like all the rave on social media a few years back. And she said she could not for some reason get this powder to work for her until she tried Sonia G's mini cheek brush. And when she combined the two, she said it was a game changer and she ended up loving this powder. So I ordered the Sonia G Mini Cheek from Beautylish. It arrived and ever since then, the rest is history because I was just so impressed by the pickup of the bristles um, for somebody that had never used natural hair bristles before and I was just using synthetic. Um, yeah, it was quite different from what I was used to. I had already loved makeup, but it just, elevated my makeup game to a whole new level and then yeah it went crazy from there um how about you, you want to do oh so um 
how I got into brushes was I, I needed to upgrade my brushes. And then what I was doing was just Googling like best makeup brushes type of thing. And then I came on, like I looked on Reddit for um, information because at the time it was like 2013, I started collecting and there was some stuff out there, but there wasn't a lot of information. I mean, there's mm. still not a lot of information now. I feel like we're doing the, um, I feel like we're being the change that we want to see. Um, but anyway, Anyway, so yeah, they were like, oh, Hakuhodo. So I was like, okay, great. So I placed an order for Hakuhodo and um, like the rest is history. I just like went down this rabbit hole. I started, I followed Sonyuji's blog and everything. And then like it got to the point where it's like, I still wanted to collect and stuff. And I was looking on CD Japan at these brushes and stuff. And I developed an eye for what would work for me and what wouldn't work for me. But it got to the point where it was just like, if I'm having these problems, other people are having these problems. That's when I started my Instagram page a couple of years ago, and I've just been having a blast ever since. Nice. Um, you want to do right. bronzer next or blush next? I was next? just thinking. Or Let's do bronzer. Your choice. Okay, bronzer. So brushes? Oh, gosh. Well, this one's a no-brainer, but... <laughs> um. Okay, it's a no-brainer for you. Let me see. For me, it's... Hmm. Oh, oh, um, oh, rats. What am I going to do for Mizuho? Oh, I got one. Yeah, this one's tough for me. Oof. Hmm. Hmm. Um, in the meantime, I'll read some of the questions. Um, don't you think okay, okay. Sonya G's brushes are too highly priced? It's only goat. This is a hot take, but I've been seeing this. I do not think that they're too highly priced. Um, I think she was very smart in keeping the prices as high as they are. Um, I like they're luxury products and they're priced as such. That's kind of how I see it. Um, compared to other brands out there, they're definitely like you can definitely get better deals out there for goat brushes and stuff. But not only are you paying for the product itself, you're also paying for that Beautylish customer <laughs> service when you purchase through Beautylish. Whether it's the return policy, the shipping, the import duties being taken care of, all of that stuff is part of buying through Beautylish. So that that's definitely a hot take, but in my opinion, it's priced. With all that stuff that you get with Sonya G is baked into the prices in a way that is not when I got, for example, my Shakuta brushes. And it's not even like a knock on Shakuta or anything. It's um, it's more just in my mind um, explaining why Sonya G is so expensive. Thank you for that. That's an interesting perspective that I don't, I don't think people think oh. about oftentimes. And it's so true because if you think about it, um you can Beautylish, disagree with me it's okay no Beauty, <laughs> Beautylish is the only Beautylish is the only retailer in america that sells right japanese food aid brushes and also like you can it gets you can get free shipping the shipping is super super quick it's the quickest out of anywhere else that you get the points, shipping, at least here in america system, yeah like the points yeah. too and then also the return policy Beautylish's return policy is like no other, like you cannot return food aid brushes, really. Like it, it's probably almost impossible to try to return a food aid brush from CD Japan, food aid beauty, food aid bobo, Toshia, food aid Japan. Um, Beautylish will take your, your brush, I think up to two months later. So yeah, it's kind of also baked into the price as well. So yeah, right, like, are you I ready? See, to... Yeah. For my brushes? Yes. Okay, 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 I have mine here um, on the count of three. Okay, one, yes. two, two, three. Three. Hey! Okay, hey. we match one. <laughs> Twinsies. Okay. Yeah. And what Kyoto brush did you get? This this one. Oh, okay, the 3D brush. Got it, got this it. Okay, yeah, I got Fox. that. Um, Oh, it's the 3D Fox. So I got the 3D Lunar New Year set, and I do not like 3D brushes. I'm sorry. More for you guys. Interesting. Not my thing. I, I yeah. love 3D brushes. This one was... Okay, so I wanted to... I was tempted to choose this one, but this one just came in the mail yesterday because I had told um, Fude Bobo to hold off on it, even though I had bought it some time back, because I knew that the Bisioto brushes were still coming, and they were a little bit delayed. So she just sent them all in one shipment, but I could totally see this one becoming um, a favorite.
grip just because of course it has a 3d shape as well it's just thicker but i was really impressed with this one it's nice and airy and especially and it also like this type of thing is hard again too because it depends on what bronzer i'm using like if i'm using a that's bronzer true. that's highly pigmented like um gucci's for instance gucci's bronzer does not play with the pigment that might be different than you know my hermes bronzer where you can really dig into this pan and you're not going to really make a dent in here or for instance if i'm going to be using a hourglass uh bronzer i could really use something more dense in my hourglass powders as well so that's why it kind of depends for me that's but more, um, yeah yeah and then this one is just so good for so many things this one's the type of brush that i would use if i was using a less pigmented bronzer this one is a more airy brush that i would use with a more pigmented bronzer and um and then the Mizuho brushes, like I said, I don't have very many of them. Um, so these are probably the only two candidates out of my Mizuho brushes that would work for bronzer. This one would just be probably like a very light dusting of bronzer and kind of a struggle just because it's really, really small. This one's a travel brush though. And I just want to give a special shout out real quick to Mizuho's travel brushes. I think I got these from CD Japan and this one's not even labeled, but this these two do say Mizuho on them. And um, they're just like, I don't know, they're, I've never seen a tra travel, like this is, I think, dyed goat hair. So it's not the softest, but if you look at the shape, it's a workhorse like type of shape that you could really use in a pinch for contour, highlight if you need to, bronzer, because I haven't really used this one that much, it, it might fluff up a little bit more later on but the mechanism the component works well seems sturdy but lightweight perfect to just throw in your purse for a touch-up so that's kind of why i just grabbed that one if i was using more of a cream bronzer though i could go totally use this mizuho synthetic one that's more geared toward foundation but that's what i would use for a cream bronzer or liquid bronzer um yeah how about your picks so I have the um, Bisciotto BF05. This this is uh, um, gorgeous. I have the Cuyuto White Canadian Squirrel Small. And then for Takuda, I have the number 802 brush. This is a mix of gray squirrel and goat. Um, so yeah, they're all like, I tend to gravitate for powder bronzer, that, like these types of like um, flat brushes that are more efficient. But as you said before, if I do use a cream bronzer, I tend to go over that with just like with my foundation brush, just to kind of blend it out. So um, it helps to kind of bring everything together when I do that. Okay, you, it's for UK people, so Beautylish, I could see why, it, yeah, shipping would be difficult. I know Tortor, he is another Food A reviewer and he lives in the Philippines. And whenever he orders from Beautylish, um, just on that topic real quick, like he has to, like the, he, Sometimes if the set comes with like these, um, the Kashibuzomi sets, like I think he ha they had to send it to him like two in one package and then another package separate. So I know that Beautylish is not as easy with shipping uh, around the world as it is for the United States. This, um, somebody was asking. Um, oh, and then this, this was, the, oh, go ahead, sorry. No, go ahead. You first. Oh, this is another thing that kind of popped to my mind about Sonia G brushes is that um, another reason why hers are could possibly be so expensive is like she's, I don't want to say it's like um, private labeling in the traditional sense of the term, but she does have contracts with existing brands to do different things, whether it's the handles or the hairs or the ferrules or the lacquer work or whatever. So she's going to have more contracts in place and in turn, that's going to incur more overhead to manufacture her brushes because there are more people involved. So that's also another um, item that's on food for thought um, regarding why her brushes are so expensive. But sorry, yeah. No, interesting. Like, I'm not ex like, I mean, they are expensive. I don't disagree that they're expensive, but there's certain reasons behind them, which is kind of just the nature of the beast when it comes to doing things like that. Yeah. True. Because it's like they're, they're artisans. They're like human beings. Like they're not a. Yeah, like that, like they're human beings that have to earn a living. So that's taken into account when we uh, pay these things, when we pay these prices. Right, very true. And um, and a lot of times, I I even think that some of these uh, 
brushes are like underpriced because they just have a spoiled yeah. like for instance look at this little mizuho brush here like when i received this little mizuho brush that just looks really like you know nothing really stands out about it maybe on food and beauty's website but when i received this mizuho brush I, i'm not sure exactly what it's called but it's their little tiny i think it might be weasel with uh red canadian squirrel or pine squirrel but like mm -hmm. they have the bundling is just perfection i have not seen like any i think any other uh pine squirrel or a red canadian squirrel wh whichever one of the two that this is where the line is just so perfectly lined up like this and yet look at the top how it's perfectly tapered on both sides to that perfect point you see that can you imagine like going into work and just like lining up hairs for eight hours Literally. a day like that like i yeah like insane yeah right so i mean just the attention to detail from the artisans the fact that this ferrule is flush to the handle right here that's another thing that the artisan has to go out of its way to do um that's why a lot of times you see the ferrules have this um what is it called like the divots or whatever yeah um, yeah i didn't realize there was a technical term. yeah <laughs> i'll take your word for it yeah. however you call it but yeah this supposedly this is um um harder to do to keep the yeah. ferrule flush with the with the handle um but yeah i think so we're getting mixed reviews on this slanted fox brush here from koyuto which is great i love to hear everybody different different points of view so somebody said that they um didn't like the angled slanted fox brush as much as the round ones which um, I do have one of the round ones here handy, and then the other larger one I have right here. I'll grab it real quick. But it looks like people have differing thoughts on these fox brushes. Do you have these, Yasmin? Which ones? No. Oh, I have that. No, wait. No, I have the blue fox ones, but not the silver fox ones. I have the Mount Fuji brush, and I didn't like the way that the hair felt. So I was just like, you know what, let me just not bother, because I didn't want to, like, engage in any clownery with stuff that I knew I didn't like. Are, so, uh, are these blue it's fox just, or it kind of depends. silver? I think I, so blue, so no? that's another thing that's confusing, because the kanji for blue and silver is the same. But then, like, the animal that it comes from, I, I think it might be different. So this is this was advertised as blue fox, right? So, uh, like, obviously I have this one, right? But then this is also advertised as silver fox as well, Koyuto's silver fox. And, like, this don't look silver to me. Like, I don't know. This yeah. <laughs> so, oh, wait, let me put these down because those are my brow brushes. So I was That's just, like, organizing. Get, yeah, difficult yeah, to so keep track of. Yeah, so it's just so confusing of. when it comes to, yeah. So this is Blue Fox, and then I had one Silk Fox Kuyuto brush, and I was not a fan of it. I just didn't like the way that the hairs felt. They felt like they were treated in a way that felt, I want to say, like, filmy or slimy, and I wasn't particularly fond of it. So it's just like, let me just not, like, continue down this rabbit hole. Yeah. It's so true. Um... I'm using this angled fox brush here with my Hermes bronzer for the first time. So, how do you like that first impression? That Hermes bronzer. I had my eye on it, and then like I saw oh, it get a lot good, of good girl. reviews. It's okay, good. okay, it's good. I I'm might have to not to get that on sale. <laughs> okay, <laughs> or do like a fifteen percent racket and special. Yeah, you know what? Every once in a while, I do think that uh, Hermes um, goes on sale on Nordstrom. So I have oh, really? Hermes products on my wish list, and you can turn on your notifications um, on your wish list uh, if you have a Nordstrom account, and you should because you get really? points. Yeah, and um, and then you can also a lot of time. I think it's like all the time, pretty much, that you can get three times the points on beauty. Wow. So it'll wow. it'll notify you if any of your products that are on your wish list go on sale. But yeah, I think I've gotten Hermes on sale for I think ten or fifteen percent off before. And that's when I grab it. Oh man, maybe you shouldn't have told me that. I know. <laughs> Sorry. 
But you know, <laughs> okay, the, this is another hot take. Though. Yeah, to your credit, though, if this makes you yeah. feel any better, um, you know, I hate how like people, like YouTuber reviewers and influencers, talk about like they get down to the nitty gritty on grams when comparing different products. Yeah. Um, because in my experience, it's just like, like, so some for some reason like this hermes bronzer like you can just use the heck out of it and like you won't even see like a scratch on the surface so there's something with like the fineness of the powder how much it's packed is packed in how much you need to pick up to get what you need versus something that's more powdery same with like cream formulas like cream stick formulas um like for instance if you were to compare like um two cream sticks from Weston Atelier and let's say from Makeup by Mario, right? Like it, it might be misleading or deceiving to say that just because one has more product, you get more bang for your buck because when I use this, like the product goes down a lot quicker than my Weston Atelier contour stick, you know, which like mm -hmm. goes down a lot slower. So I don't know if it has to do, you know, I'm sure with the formula, with the pigment, um, but I do feel like in general with, um, luxury beauty, the products last longer. Maybe it's because their ingredients are less clean. I don't know, but you have to just take all of that into consideration. Just like we were saying yeah. with convenience of, of Beautylish and all of that, I think it all kind of goes hand in hand. Um, what's the next step you want to do? Blush, bronzer, or if you want to do like a double blush type of thing so you can go through multiple blushes, blush brushes. Ooh, like, yeah, can, okay. Um, well, like I pulled contour, out a cream. Like... Ooh, yeah, okay. I pulled out a cream. I, don't know. Hmm. I have so many different blushes in front of me right now, so I could do, but they're all, I think they're all powder. But oh, no, I have a liquid blush here if you want to do that. Okay. okay. Okay, yeah, we could do maybe, um, I, we could do powder contour, we could do um, cream blush, and then a powder blush, and then maybe a powder highlight. How about that? That's usually like my go-to. Uh, uh, sure. Let's see. Sounds good to me. Powder contour, ready. Okay, so now I have to find my, powder my contour brushes. Okay. You're, you might see a a lot of repeats here just because they're that good they're starting it's to not... get repeated yeah exactly yeah it's for the same so, reason or should we just do like cheek like a blanket cheek thing or something like i don't know for the, yeah, for the people I think it's fine viewing at home repeated. so that we don't bore them to like i mean i'm fine running my mouth about brushes i don't know how they all feel like <laughs> i think everybody that's watching probably feels like we feel where like they won't probably mind seeing the same okay. brush in action just being yeah, used differently right fair. Yes. And then if anybody has any special requests, we could always um, yeah. show special, like any that we have handy too. We'll pump is... the brakes on the clown car. <laughs> yeah, it, I saw that comment. <laughs> it starts to get difficult to, um, are we getting, are we getting the questions? And I, okay. You should keep on top of brush is the best in my opinion for cream blush. Ooh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think you're talking about this one, the Yoshiki flat top coat brush. Mm. That's I'm, a good I one. might have pulled that. I might have to pull it back, put it back. That one's <laughs> are we wait? Are we one. doing contour or um, blush first? Um, okay. Well, I was starting to pick out my contour. Okay, contour I got my brushes, so maybe we'll just yeah. do that since that's, um, that should be pretty a quick step for me. It's usually a quick step for me. Yeah. What? Okay, Cuyudo Bisioto. Cuyudo Bisioto Mizuho. All right. Okay. I think I'm ready. All right, ready? One, two, three. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Oh, we got, we both had the different Bisioto, like different we brushes. Matched. And yeah. Oh, no, we do. This is the um, GC01. I think I, I, no, yeah, GC01. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, this and then we both GC01. got the same Mizuho we'll brush. the same Mizuho one. Oh, Good choice on that I one. I pulled this one, but then I guess, yeah, that, that this one was the hardest one. The Kyuto one was, was pretty challenging. I know. 
Oh, I have. Oh, I just found it. Okay, so yeah, we can be twins now. <laughs> yeah, I picked. But this I find one. that the um. Oh, so the white. Canadian scroll for me packs on a lot of product, but the powder contour I picked is the Makeup Forever Artist Sculpt, and this is very pigmented. So mm. I would rec. I, this is not a good pairing because this is so um, pigmented for me at least. So this is really good with um, something that doesn't pick up as much versus something like this that has like a lot of juice to it. And then I was thinking about doing this one, but I thought it would be cheating. So the Bizioto one, yeah. Which Miss Yoda one? This is the is that one that you have. Yoda Kalinsky one. This was the powder one. Oh, this this one. Yeah. yeah. So I was gonna try using this with um cream blush. Ooh yeah yeah. This one's a good okay yeah. This one would be good to use for cream blush. Now I'm tempted. So to which contour one. are you gonna go Mizuho or Bisioto for your contour? Because then I'll use whichever one you don't use just for demo purposes. Oof. Okay. Um, I'll use my Mizuho one. Okay, then I'll go Bisioto. Because so yeah, many I, matching choices during this live. That means I, that they're that good. And I, I kid you not, y'all. We did not talk about. We, we did, decided to not tell we each didn't. other what we were going to be choosing. So I don't even really like know exactly which one she had in her collection, which ones I have in my collection. So I'm using yeah. the Natasha Denona medium contour powder contour powder here that's a powder good one contour powder. Um, yeah so this one has a good amount of pigment not too much not too little so um this little mizuho brush here is underrated it's uh aged squirrel it's just probably the softest gray squirrel i have in my collection and i like it because when i go in with powder contour um i build it little by little um, because it's always easier to add more than to take it away, especially if I already have set my other cream products underneath with powder. And I like to pull my skin back like this too, to avoid any skipping with my powders, especially if oh, they're highly smart. pigmented. Yeah. If you, and the re the idea, um, where I got this idea from, actually, mm -hmm. when, when I started to do this, I experimented with doing my makeup on, and I'm curious if y'all ever do this, let me know. Um, do your makeup when your hair is down, and then do your makeup when your hair, if, you, if you're the type of person that ever wears your hair kind of like in a tighter uh, updo or ponytail or bun or something like that, if y'all didn't, obviously, y'all probably know i'm a lawyer so oftentimes for court i do like a very slick back look whether it's a ponytail or a bun um and then in the mornings uh i'll do my hair first and then i'll do my makeup and um sometimes i just like i would look at my makeup throughout the day and i'd be like dang like it looks particularly good um like just better like it just like applied better i thought even if i use the same products when my hair was up as opposed to down and so i figured maybe that's just because of like you know this just it, it, like ironing right like that's kind of why you flatten out a sheet before ironing it to flatten out all the you wrinkles. iron your sheets oh my god <laughs> no i mean not a sheet no no i do not iron i don't iron my sheets i don't like, iron no, my sheets. i feel like i'm kind of like such a flaw no 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 <laughs> I'm more of a steamer if I do ever steam anything. Okay. No. Yeah. No, in general, I don't. I try to actually, I try to shop for clothes that doesn't need ironing because I just, I'm that lazy. I okay. do not do it. I like ironing, really? so it doesn't bother me to iron. Yeah. Like, I'm cool. Like, I'm not mad. Like, if I have to iron something, I'm okay with it. It's like my thing. It's like the one chore that doesn't really irritate me. So I'm okay with it. So many yeah, I don't know. matching I'll choices during this live. Oh, I was reading yeah, the comments. So Sorry. Funny. Um, yeah. And our shower curtain too. And our shower curtains are the same as well. Yoshiki flat top go brushes. Yeah. Tell that one already the Blush brushes are Nazi food day's weakness. Yeah, I know. I feel you on that. The slanted um. fox brush felt too slimy. Yeah, I can see why somebody would feel like the fox is like a little bit slimy feeling. I could totally understand. Yeah, like you you see what a, yeah, it was just like it felt like it had like a film on it or they treated it in a certain way. And I was like, eh. 
guess okay like i guess but yeah the, yeah so for that i would do like chikahoto fox before i do kayuto fox yeah and then like um okay so i just did my powder contour did you finish yours yes i did okay great should we move on to cream blush now yes i put down some of the um the i have the rare beauty handle, yeah. liquid this and encourage yeah that i didn't get it back yeah. cream yeah this ebony handle is uh, ebony handles are my weakness i mentioned it on my live last week that um my when i was a baby uh, my parents brought me home from the hospital to um the first house that um i had and that it was on ebony street so we always call it the ebony house a few years later i moved into the house where i grew up but ebony is you just like always yeah uh special congratulations dear, my heart just because of the name and then yeah and then um i just really love the feel of it the weight of it whenever a brush is made with ebony handles just like the bisciotto grand series that we keep pulling out it's just a lovely feel it's a very hard type of wood so unlike other types of wood there the artisans aren't actually able to engrave into the handles yeah the Mizu the brushes are really, really nice. The ebony handles, softest for yeah. scroll. I know. If these, yeah. I'm not usually one to say like run, do not walk. Like if these ever re-release, these are the ones to get. Not even like the Chikahoto Z4, not like, um, like, yeah. like nothing else. Like this is one that you want to get. If you 100%. miss the boat on this, Tensado has an age gray scroll that's similar. It's similar in softness, but the dimensions are different. So it doesn't cover as much surface area. So this is the one to get. Yeah, nothing compared. Sorry, that was my little was... rant over. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah, they're, they're quite special. It's kind of unlike any other gray school I've ever felt. And I forget how much I paid for it, but I remember like the price was not an arm and a leg. Yeah, it was like, it was impressive how reasonably priced it was too. Mm -hmm. uh, like I thought it was a typo or something. I was like, wait, am I paying this much for yeah. this brush? Like, oh, okay. pretty cheap. I guess so I yeah, all for day lover. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you brought. Um, the are we ready the... to? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Liquid cream blush. Okay. One. Oh, two, oh, 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 oh! Three. Hold on, oh, hold on, hold on! Oh. I'm not ready. I'm not oh. ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> um. Okay. Now let's hold on. I have to think. I have to think. I know this one's hard. Okay, 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 okay. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Ooh, yeah, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. This is very challenging. Okay, I'm fuck it. I'm just gonna do it even if it's cheating. Okay, ready? One, <laughs> two, three. Two, three. Two, so I'm glad I'm not cheating. Wow, two out of three. No. Look at that. Hey. See, hey. okay. I acknowledge the fact that this is cheating for me because I still haven't used it, but I could all already see it becoming a quick mm -hmm. favorite. I for was cream and I was gonna go blood. for this one. Oh, but I went with this one instead. Yeah. You know, I originally was okay. Had I had the the shipment not come in yesterday, I was very fully prepared to use these as an alternative. Um, but yeah, not from Bisciotto. It's just that Bisciotto like really didn't have much Kalinsky before Pude Bobo started collabing with them, right? Yeah, it was just that one eye brush. Yeah, so exactly. And, exactly. And, and so then, I'm so glad that they started doing that. So this is the Shakura 711. This is the Bobo Kalinsky brush. Oh gosh, I don't even know what to use. So yeah, that flat top high grade Sai Coho is top notch. It really is. This feels as this. So this is Zybe Coho brush. Um, they feel almost identical. Like that's yeah. not like I can't believe that that is Sai Coho hair. It's like, almost like it's, it's that good. mislabeled. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Like I'm not complaining. I'll take it. Yeah. But yeah. let's see. Totally. Um, um, I could totally use this for cream blush too. This one's a good one. Sai Coho go. Um, same with this. All the same type of uses um i would use either of these two mizuho ones for cream or liquid blush and yeah i would use this 
or Kalinsky, of course, is always good for any cream or liquid products. The only thing I don't like about the undyed goat hair in general is just that I can't like stand seeing it dirty out on my vanity. So like after a few uses, it gets gunky and I just feel like I want to switch it up. But um, I would say that that's just the only reservation that I have about undyed goat hair in general. But because it's resilient and it could be washed a bunch of times. Since you're using that one, I'll use this one. Oh. Because I know Food oh, yeah, go for just, it. just um, said that she was going to be releasing a few more of these round-shaped Kalinsky hairbrushes. So hopefully y'all are able to grab those. I'm using my Tom Ford cream blush here. Um, it's their cream blush formula oh, that recently came out. I was going to buy that. I saw that and I liked it. That's a really pretty color. I want to see this in action. Okay, I'm going to watch. It's a gorgeous watch. color. Yeah, it's such a pretty color. Gorgeous formula. No complaints. No patchiness. It's not super pigmented. There's no scent. And look at the packaging, y'all. Look at the packaging. I know, that's beautiful. Oh, it's just gorgeous it's lovely it feels great in the hand yeah really nice. we did get a Even question in how often y'all wash your brushes be honest probably like once every few weeks but that's um like when i do a a deep clean on them in between uses I always have like microfiber towels handy and I'll like wipe them off after each use and then I will even go in and use like a, a I brought it out um, I showcased it on my last slide but this is their like dry shampoo Sephora's dry shampoo spray that brush cleaner it's really good for in between um, washes so for me, since I've had this, since I started um, my Instagram page, I've been washing my brushes more often just because I, need, I don't like photographing my brushes when they're dirty. So I'll end up saying like, oh, where did this, like, where did that brush go? It's like, oh crap, I used it. So I have to wash it before I Same. go take pictures with it. Um, so I end up washing maybe after every, like a week's worth of uses seven like between five and seven uses um but then for the cream for the, when i use a brush for cream products i'll wipe it off on a towel in between but only if it gets for a powder maybe like every other use i'll do that okay so yeah i guess i guess that means i'm i'm like grosser with my friend it sounds like no i think i'm just paranoid that like i'm gonna use um like like a darker powder or something with a brush and oh, then right. try to use it with like a translucent setting powder like that's that's kind of oh i, I see it. no for that then i would just like pull another brush from the archives and like i would then i would like just like use it first one product specifically unless it's like concealer where it's like or foundation where my um the colors are roughly the same on me more or less but like yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's just like an orange cream blush or a pink cream blush. At that point, I would just pull another brush and use it. Yeah. yeah so the the good thing about the darker bristles is that they hide when brushes are dirty. But also, uh, it's also kind of a bad thing because you won't know what's dirty and what's clean. So I could see that too. Which is why, like, I'm starting to just love Kalinsky so much, just because it's like, I know it's so easy to wipe off and just keep reusing, and it's so resilient. When the Kalinsky Kalinsky sheds, it's like the same, it's like so similar to my skin color that it's like when I was like, oh wait, it shed. Like I feel like go look, go hunting for it on my face. Yeah, That's the only same. bad thing for me. <laughs> same. That's why I always have to have a spoolie around because it drives me nuts during the day if I could feel that there's like a hair on my face. <sighs> what um, stuff should we do next? You Powder said, blush? Uh, sure. Do we? We, um, do you layer your powder blush on top of your yeah your I do liquid? okay yeah same are we doing brushes first uh, um yeah why don't we why don't we okay mm -hmm. powder blush powder blush powder blush okay 
I just have to think for a second. I should have been more prepared. But like I said, I feel like whatever is like automatic in my head means I really like it. Um, okay. Hmm. Do Koyuto, Mizuho, and then Bisyoto, Bisyoto, Bisyoto. Okay. Hmm. Ready? Okay, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Oh boy. All right. One. Okay, on the count of three. One, okay. two, three. Three. Oh, okay. Oh, you got the red, red squirrel. Okay, I see. Yeah. I okay. brought this red squirrel from Koyuto. This is for like more pigmented blush formulas. Yeah. This one's super unique. And good then, choice. Good choice. This good old Mizuho one again could be used. It's my first thought for powder blush. My or home, I could have also me, the used this too. one. Yeah. That I just used okay, for yeah. contour. Okay, yeah. You're like, I, I just know. talked about this. Um, I was like, I don't care. I like it that much. So, it's that good. So, Okay, but realistically, these both have a place in my collection because um, this is rougher. So this okay. could be used for like a, a baked gelée. This one won't help you with the baked gelée because it's Yeah, this is like soft. useless a baked gelée, yeah. So this one would be perfect for a baked gelée blush or like, you know, my hourglass brush uh, blushes that aren't super pigmented. Um, but then, yeah, of course, this one's out of stock. So I don't want to keep giving people FOMO on that one. Yeah, this one's out of stock, too. Sorry, this is the Year of the Dragon Kyoto brush, but it's so good. That one's interesting. I'm not even familiar yeah. with that one. This was the Lunar New Year release. This is Saibi Koho. It was this Ooh, powder lovely. brush as well as like a blender brush. And this is this is so good because it's a pretty unique shape. And when it lays on the cheek, it's super efficient. If I ever want to do a, like just powder contour and a highlight and no blush, this is fantastic for that. So yeah, I was also, that one looks like a do great shape. This one too. Yeah, it's such a good shape. So if they re-release this for like for the holidays or something, I do recommend this one. I also have this, the white Canadian squirrel cheek brush was a very close second. Same. So, same. This one is a close second for me too. I have this one here handy because this one's a really special one. Um, again, this and we can use it because it's for sale great. now. So that's tr true. She does have these on her website that are available. So um, yeah, definitely has a little bit more pickup than this um, red squirrel brush that just I don't. It might not be in stock anymore, but not too long ago, this one came back in stock. So periodically. If you ever see this one, this one's quite special because the uh, red squirrel hair is super, super, super soft. So uh, when I think of what this one would excel for is like, for instance, Pat McGrath blushes that are very highly pigmented. This one will be like your best friend. But again, this one won't help you when it comes to big gelée formulas. It's or cream or liquid formulas either. The bristles are just too um, thin and delicate. And I did see, I think... Um, somebody mentioned on here that they were using a squirrel brush for, um, I think, a cream, a cream formula, and that it was just too hard on the bristles. Yeah, these these are better just for um, powder only. The third gray. I I always forget about my red squirrel brushes. They're they're really good. I I don't know why I don't like. I have them, but I just don't like. I guess because they're so, like, the hairs are so fine. In my mind, it's like, oh, those those are, like, super soft. They're super special. So I just don't, I know. I don't, know, I, I don't oh, use them like they that. They are. Like, it's, so, it's so, like, I really do need to use my red squirrel brushes so much. They're very uh, special. And this um, one I could have also used for um, my powder contour step as well. This one's great for mm -hmm. that. And very yeah. highly pigmented highlight, powder highlight. This one would be perfect for that, too. So we hear that this is a personal favorite. Um, the third gray squirrel brush. I I think that might that question might be directed to you, Yasmin. The three D gray squirrel brush. Which one? Oh, I don't have a three D. Oh, that might be you. That Mizuho brush that you had. Oh, this one. I don't use. Um, maybe this one's a. I think uh, it's horsehair and. Pine, Pine squirrel. squirrel? Owl food a lover just uh, corrected me a little bit earlier on this one. I think that's what she said it was. Which now that I'm remembering, yeah, I do think I remember that it had some uh, horse in there 
too, I think as well. Um, so I think that's the one you meant. If not, um, please let us know. But yeah, there's so many good candidates for blush. Maybe I'll just use this um, white Canadian squirrel hair blush brush just because of, like I said, uh, the blush that I pulled out will better lend itself for something that has a better pickup actually than this red squirrel. So there you go. That's another example of how every like what lawyer's blush are favorite you answer is it depends. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, good question. So I brought out my Sisley one. How about you? I, I had, I have, I have them both. I have my Sisley one and I have the Suku melting powder one. Okay. So which see, shade of I, Sisley do you have? Y'all see how we are the same person. My, oh. I was, I was torn. <laughs> I was torn between um, this one and my Suku melting powder blushes. The only reason I didn't pull out my Suku melting powder blushes was because they're discontinued. So. That was kind of like the reason I, I but yeah, I, those are, those are a favorite as well. We and I'm like, so didn't plan this. Like we, we really didn't. did not plan this. I don't know. Like we did not. And, oh God. And again, Gosh. just like you feel about your red squirrel brushes that you like hold off on using on the daily. That's how I feel about yeah. the Suku melting powder blushes. It's like, just because I know I'm not going to be able to get them again. I, I don't like use them on the daily basis, just special occasions. The 3D one that I held up, um, are you talking about this one? This one's a fox one. This one's, um, I think, Silver Fox. And it, it is from Food Aid Bubbles website. It might not be in stock right now, but hopefully she'll come back, back with it soon. I think this one's the one. I, I think did. I saw them on CD Japan as well, but I oh. could be mistaken. Oh, okay. Yeah. CD so Japan is legit one. though, because I like, yeah. The user interface is, um, it's a little, it's not very modern looking or anything. So it kind of looks like it's easy to think that like it looks kind of scammy, but they're legit. Yeah. Yeah. And, and their um, point I system is up, pretty good too. Okay, good. I'm glad we answered that question. Yeah. Yeah. I agree oh. with their point system and the fact that they're, I love how, um, their shipping is free and you don't have to, uh, your order yeah. doesn't have to be that much in order for you to get free shipping. Unlike food, a beauty where your order has to be at least $300. With CD Japan, I think it's like a hundred or something USD. Um, I I brought out the coral and the pink ones, the pink shade, just because I like them both. But I also have handy here the bronze one. I think those are the three colors that they have. I have all three colors just because it's that good. It really yeah. did impress me. But this is another formula which, just like my Hermes bronzer, bronzer, like you use it and you use it and you use it, and like it has not gone down at all. Like the symbol is still like perfectly intact. I'm having, yeah. I've had this for years now and this is the dent I've put in number, shade number one. Okay. Yeah, the bronzer one. Yeah. The, or it's like a, it's like a more, it's a blush still, but. Yeah, it's like a more it's... muted. Oh, this is a bronzer? I thought that this was a blush. No, 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 no. It's a blush, oh. but. Oh. It's, it's like more, more of a like bronzer. a bronzer okay. blush hybrid because of the the shade right um so yeah because that one is just like closer to my skin tone the same shade that you're using i would oh, yeah. probably use it more with like a denser um brush like this oh Thank my you. dad just, just joined carlos tamayo 3532 i didn't even know he had an instagram hi dad i, I didn't even know <laughs> oh, he had an instagram wow this whole time he had an he doesn't have a profile sweet. picture yet but Aww. Um, okay, so let's see here. Um, um, which, oh yeah, so, oh, I was gonna use my white Canadian scroll. I'm a little bit behind here, so. No, I just, I don't know. I was like, oh, boo -boo -boo. I just wanted to like put these on my face, so don't feel bad at all. I was just like, they're, they're in front of me tempting me. I had to. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like, oh my gosh, like I could just keep piling up the blush just because Oh, what a lovely experience this is this white I also, canadian scroll i also have this um suku 102 i've just been itching to use this this yoto um kalinsky brush and i have this suku 102 blush here so um let's try or i will try just using it seeing it in action just for fun oh this feels nice this is nice what's, <laughs> what's the difference between we got a question the pink and the bronze one, just the shade, 
just the shades are different. They have just these three shades. I believe they still haven't um, extended their. Yes. Rate. I have the silver packaging. I know that they, I think recently changed this packaging to gold. So if you see the gold packaging on these online, it's the same. It should be the same. I understand. I don't think that they changed the hey, formula really? or anything, but these are the three shades. I like the gold better. I'm more of a gold person myself, but yeah, somebody said, uh, <laughs> let me see. Um, he heard you out at him on that concealer brush and he came to find out Ashton. I swear you are such a ride or die. You remember that story. <laughs> Wait, what um, is this? Story time. I feel like this is something I, I think you heard. Her. You heard, uh, Yasmin, you were on this live. I think if this is what she's referring to. Um, I said that I even gifted my dad one of these, um, fine cola, I think it's Curato, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, brushes. This is a Kalinsky brush, and it's not from any of the three brands that we're focusing on here today, but it's still a handmade Japanese brush. And I was really impressed by this brush. They have it in two different sizes. You can find it on Fude Beauty, probably F CD Japan too, but I got mine on Fude Beauty. And um, I love this for like um, pinpoint concealing. Like if you have a little blemish or something, this is just like perfect to get that. Or like if you wanna do faux freckles, this would be good for faux freckles with like a brown um, powder. This one would also be good to kind of like wing out your eyeliner with. Use like an eyeshadow and just kind of like flick it out. But um, I, um, my dad was like, I don't know what brush he was using before, but he was just using like a cheap little synthetic brush. And I'm like, I had an extra one of these by accident because um, I ordered another one thinking that it was, I was missing like a third size, like they had three different sizes, but then I think they only had the large and the small. So it was just sitting here and I figured, you know, this would really up his, his game when he spot conceals. So I gifted him one of these and he told me that he started using it recently and it was a game changer, essentially in his words, he doesn't use that terminology, but. Yasmin, yeah, Yasmin, that's my oh, sister. Your dad was on? Dad, Daddy was watching me. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, well, both of our dads <laughs> were watching. For a little bit. How funny! My dad has yet to watch me in court either. I've I've been a lawyer oh, really? for about six years now, and I still have to tell him the next time I'm in trial so that he can go watch me. Um. Okay, I think we were caught up on I'm the ready question for highlight. Okay. Highlight, highlight, highlight. Okay. Brought out my highlighter here. <sighs> Let's do highlighter. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay, I have Coyuto. Now for Bisciotto. Oh, oh, goodness gracious. This is help repetitive is this gonna be <laughs> i know we're starting like, to these like brushes see are just a lot that of i should just like pick i feel like i'm um, picking up and putting down the same brushes <laughs> yeah for real oh no me too and honestly i think that's part of what makes a brush good is that it could be used in so many different ways right and that is true general. that's very true Okay, um, it's easy for me to pick out of this, uh, my Mizuho stash just because I have such a limited yeah. amount. But um, yeah, I think I think I'm ready for okay for this. How about you? I'm ready. One. Okay. One, two, two three. Three. Okay. Oh, interesting choices. So we're the Yoto twins again. This brush the is just really twins. that good. I know. Is yours more pointy than mine? I, I think yours might be more pointy. Use a brush guard. So do I. I. I, I store, really? Hmm. That's why I or, keep is this a, thinking that one? you're this is the GC up a different one. This one's the GC one too. Okay, see, y'all, this is a perfect example of how handmade Japanese brushes, you can get the same brush, but because of the handmade nature, the bundling can come differently. So yeah, it looks my, I guess like, mine is more paddle. -like. Yeah, it looks like right, and mine is more of like a. It's almost like a, like a bell shape, if you will, like 
it's a little bit curved, but not too, it's more flat on top, but it's still tapered on the sides, like a round flat. And then, but yours seems this like is, it you know, more of a point. This is the Mizzou one. This goes without saying at this point. And then this is the Kyoto Red Canadian Squirrel High Grade Psycho Ho Mix Cheek Brush. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's a good choice to use as well. Um, and for me, so this I is had... A... Uh-huh, go ahead. I was going to say, this one is really good at picking up and laying down. So this is really good for baked formulas. Yeah. Or this one would be better for, um, like, super pigmented formulas. I agree. I rarely actually... Yeah. yeah, I rarely use gray squirrel for my highlighter for that same reason, just because it's... Um, I don't know, like, I, I have a lot of baked gelée highlighters that I love. I just love that baked yeah. gelée in my highlighter formula. I've got a run, I'll catch up after. Nice seeing you. Nice seeing you, too. Thank you for joining. Good seeing you, too. Um, I'm just Bye. looking at the time. I think we've been on here for two hours, and it still hasn't oh my cut gosh. us off. So, yeah. We figured we'll just let it run if there's still interest, right? Yeah. Um. So, yeah. For, this works well. I pulled the Burberry highlighter, the, the rose gold one. So I'm not one to blind my haters. So I just like to use something light. Yeah. So I guess I could have used Squirrel for that. But yeah, that's that's the approach I like to take with my highlighter. For creams, I would definitely use something more tightly packed, like um, like this combination, the Westman Atelier and the Sky type of thing. Sorry, you go you go ahead. Um. No, yeah, those are great picks. Yeah. I had difficulty choosing between um, any of these Koyuto ones, really. They're all great. Right now on Fude Bobo's website, I do believe she has this particular one in stock. So if you want to go grab it, this one's a great one. I like using this for um, setting my T-zone with powder. Um, great for highlighter. I could have even used this one for my powder contour as well. Um, but this one and this one are similar, except... This one over here is just like more, uh, you know, kind of fat and stubby. And this one is longer. But I love them both. Um, and this one I would probably pick for highlighter maybe over this one just because it's a little bit longer and wispier. And um, this one comes in three different hair shape, hair or styles, I guess, hair with different types of hair. So. These are the three different ones with kind of the same shape, but this one's Kalinsky, this one's your Silver Fox, and this one is your Psycho Ho Goat Hair. And honestly, I could use any of these for my highlighter. But again, it depends on formulas. If you're using like a harder pressed formula like Baked Gelee, I might reach for my Kalinsky one. If it's a softer pressed formula, I might reach for these two. Um, okay, thank you so much so yeah. for joining. People are having I think to I'll, uh, I know. Oh, yeah. For my so, highlighter, I brought we'll just... out my Clay de Poe one. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I like that one. This is the um, the Burberry Rose Gold, Gold Baked Formula. How is that one? I don't have that one. This one, I think they discontinued this. It's good. It's good. It's just like, yeah, that typical um, baked. I like it. Um, this is really good coming into the winter season, like wanting like something to look more warm or more lit, especially during to kind of counteract how dark it is outside earlier. Um, I, I just got the weather on my mind just because it's stupid hot. Yeah, totally. And you said you did your brows already, right? Because I have to fill mine in so I could just do that on my own. Um, yeah. Uh, I just, I did like a very minimal brow. I just okay. ran that brow gel through and then okay. I just took a little, this um, Valentino brow pen. Okay. And I just did a couple of strokes to fill them in just because I knew I wouldn't be using any food aid with my eyebrows, but I, we could talk about brow brushes. Oh, oh, okay. Cause then I could just take care of that while... Oh, if you if you did, because yeah, you said you did your brows already, so I could just do that in parallel real quick. Kyudo, I don't really have a brow brush to um to be honest, because oh yeah, we did spoolies, not like the um, but I yeah, I like to fill it in with a brush. Yeah, but for uh, Mizuho, this Shakudo one, I'm a sucker for long handles, so this one is pretty good, like with um with brows, and then with Bisiodo, I like the uh, brow brush that comes in their set. 
So That's I will fill my brows in. Yeah, this is, it's curved, but then it really, it really, it's just, it works. There's just something that can be said for something that just does its job and does it well. It's like no BS, not like no huge bells and whistles to it. I mean, it's food aid, so it's like as bells and whistles as you can get, right? But it's so straightforward as a brush and I love this. So yeah, let me yeah. get a brow on. I got tired of looking totally. at my bald spots in the mirror. Yeah, I, I feel kind of naked without something in my brows too, but yeah. Oh, these are... I, oh yeah, you were smart getting ready but ahead of time or like at least doing a brow first. Just at minimum a brow, because I figured we, I figured this would happen where we could just keep going on and on I, about this, no. uh, about all of this forever. So, uh, hi, welcome um, to the live. Thank you for joining. Yeah, this is another option. So this is the one that you're talking about. I agree. It's nice. Yes, and yes. Perfect for eyebrows. Um, this one is a nice little chunky one that I got from Pude Bobo's website. Or no, not this one. She has a similar one. It's the same one. She just has a different handle on her website, but it's oh, the yeah. same idea. Yeah, the quince what I think it is, yeah. Um, what is this? Itachi hair? I always get this one. I, th or I think it's water badger. Water badger? Okay. I have to, I have to do my minority report search in a sec. <laughs> I can't believe we've yeah. been going for two, like, it doesn't feel like we've been doing this for two hours, like. No, not at all. And the first we time we spoke like... on the phone, Noelle was like, okay, gotta run. And then I looked at it on my phone, we were speaking for like almost an hour, like, I'm not making this up. Yeah, and it was just, just supposed to be like a, yeah. like a quick conversation, but it just, time flies like that. And the only reason I had to leave that conversation was because I, I still needed to get my workout in for the day and it was getting late. So otherwise I would have been able to stay on there. And talk about food and makeup all day long. So this excuse my dog. In, Bobo, has, Bobo has the eye brushes in other woods now. So she has that Karen wood. That's the um Jap that's the Chinese quince, olive, yakusugi, and purple heart. So the brow brush is badger hair. That's what it is. Oh, oh okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, so you're saying Bobo has these sets? Yeah, so she has the sets not only in the Yakusugi wood that we both just shared, we, she has it available in this purple heart handle as well. So, so it's like- You have two of the sets? It was like a whole- I do, I do, because- So number one, nice. this Yakusugi wood is actually legit, right? Yeah, so right. When it comes to Yakusugi wood, there are very specific laws in place with how the wood is harvested. It's because you can only- get it in one island of the archipelago of japan so you have to like you have to wait until it falls from the trees or it has to be a certain age and stuff mm -hmm. and not only are the brush makers competing for the sakusugi wood it's other artisans too like knife makers or furniture makers or whatever like people who make jewelry boxes stuff like that so that's what makes the akusugi wood so challenging to get but then i also like purple heart because this is native to the caribbean where my parents are from so I was like, ooh, Purple Heartwood, let me get that. So that's why I got Purple Heart. In Just like a sucker for Purple Heartwood. Interesting. Okay, yeah. thank you for that info. Yeah. Um, I knew about the Yakuzuki. I didn't know about the Purple Heartwood. Now yeah. you're making me question whether I need another set, but no, <laughs> I do think like, these little like sets it, are fine. impressive. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're so cute, aren't they? And They're um, Yeah, they're good. I already have a deep dive good. comparing these to others on my um, highlights reel. So if you look at my page, then it'll say, like, I have the Bisiodo. I said I did a deep dive on all of these brushes with comparison photos and everything. Yeah. Just a shameless um, plug for my page. No, for sure. If y'all aren't following Yasmin, go follow her page because she and has. Go follow Noelle too. Yeah. A lot of great information about brushes. Thank you. Um, but yeah, these little five piece, I think brush sets are great. Um, they, it's awesome that you can pick different handles. Um, I like this brow, yeah. brow brush better than this one too, by the way. So these are two different Bisoto brow brushes, but this one, in my opinion, is better just because of the curve. It allows me to get in there in a way that I, I can't with this one. This one is a little too efficient for my tastes. This one is goaded for me. Yeah. Okay. okay. Interesting. So I have, um, 
these little ones here. I think I'm still, oh yeah, I think this is all of them, right? In the set, there's five of them. Yes. Yeah. Oh gosh, mine are all over the place. That weasel one, I like using to carve out my brows. I, I love it for that. Me too. It's it's like a must in my um my routine. Actually, I can just showcase it right now because I still have. Oh, done okay, that got step. it. But yeah, and I usually do. But this, this Yodo has a few different options for this step that you can use. They they have yes, kind of. It's almost the same in the long handle version, and then I think what is this prairie dog? That's also a similar shape. Um. This that is the... Tama hair. This okay. one is Prairie Dog. Kyoto Prairie Dog. That's right. Okay, so, that's one's the, yeah. that one's the diamond. Okay. Thank you. Is that how you... But it's it's T-A-M-A-G-E, right? Yes. But it's pronounced Tama? I thought it was like Tama gay, and then they shortened it to Tama. Maybe mm, some, okay. someone smarter than me can correct me in the comments, because yeah, I, no I only know I like... Know what... um, I only got like Naruto levels of Japanese knowledge up in there, so. I don't even know what type, what type, kind of animal that is, even. Let's, is it like a. Let me, let me uh, Google it. Like a type of weasel, I wonder. Cause you know how there's different categories under weasel. There's like the Kalinsky and then. So, okay. This is on the Hakuhodo website, and it says Tamage, cat. Tamage. It's used to denote cat. the hair. A, yeah, from a cat. But it just says it cat. But it doesn't say if it's like, um, what species of cat? If it's like, I don't know, like right. a leopard is a cat too. Like, what does that mean? Right. Like, right. So it's just, uh, it's a little challenging. Is the Kalinsky hair from Russia? As far as I'm aware, typically yes. Um, it's like a specific species of the um, of weasel. So it's like all Kalinskys are weasels, but not all weasels are Kalinsky. So and that same thing applies to Fitch and um, Fitch. There was another the weasel. Yeah, yeah. There's like yeah. There's Fitch, like a third there was one. A, I think. Yeah. Water badger, yeah, and then I know? forget what it is. Yeah, yeah. No, well, is I think that's what I'm thinking. Hang on. Yes, yeah, I don't know what they mean. Right. By so weasels, badgers, otters, ferrets, martens, minks, among others, because it's the Mustela um, family it, of mammals. Because I I looked at the like the whole like animal kingdom thing to like look at what a fitch was, and that's what it was. Yeah. So yeah. So, so they're the all in the same too. family. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So then fitch, right? That's what you said. This one yeah. was. Yes. And this and again, like this, this is just. This is just my very basic interpretation of Wikipedia articles. I am not a an expert by any means. Like, please, like, I'm not I'm not the authority on animal classifications or anything like that. I'm so I do apologize if I do get anything wrong here. But, yes, yes, same. I always yeah I always give that caveat. But like, and, and yeah, okay, and, and some of it gets lost in translation too. Yeah. I think sometimes yes, that's like, true. Um, like these, so that was like the thing with the same yeah, cat. or like blue squirrel and gray squirrel. It's like the mm -hmm. the kanji for blue and gray is the same thing. And when you see ash squirrel too, that's another one. So it's like yeah. So, so what's the difference between oh oh you first? No, go ahead. I was I was looking at the same question. So what's the main difference between Fitch and Kalinsky hair? Oh oh, Hayashi san. Good morning. Konnichi. Hi. So okay. So let me get one brush for you. Well, excuse me. One moment. I have one Fitch brush here. So uh, my understanding um, is that um, so yeah. So Fitch is probably. I think Kalinsky is like the highest grade of weasel, the softest. Good morning, you're doing such a great job. Thank you so much, Ihoro. I don't understand English, but I am enjoying your faces and expressions. 
Thank you so much for that. Arigato gozaimasu, Hayashi-san. Mm. The main Jen, difference you. between Fitch and Kalinsky hair. This is the only Fitch brush I own. This is the Tonsado FC20. The hairs here are a lot finer. Um, I have a feeling this is, I don't have too many Fitch brushes, and I haven't seen them on the market much. The ends here are very inconsistent. So I, I suspect that they might be harder to work with to cut them to make them even because the bundling mm -hmm. on this is a little off. The hairs are finer. Um, and this is Kalinsky, this is Fitch. So let me, like, the amount of give to them is about the same. The Kalinsky is much softer. It blows the Fitch out of the water. This is incredibly annoying to wash. Mm -hmm. This is the most irritating brush I can think of. When I say I hate washing brushes, this is what I think of. Like, that's how bad it is. So I recommend this as, like, a collector's item if you want a Fitch brush. I'm not going to talk you out of it if you really want it. But if you're on the fence or something, I would say skip it. Like, that's that's my two cents on that. I agree with that. I have the yeah. same one by Tanzato. Yeah. Okay, good. So I'm not thoughts. crazy. No, I have all the same thoughts about that one. It's okay. It's unique, and I respect um, Tanzato for trying to come out with like unique, uh, a unique hair type brush and stuff. But it doesn't seem like it is as uh, practical to use as uh, your Kalinsky. I think they are mainly used for painting. Yeah, you know, I've seen some like painters or like some people say they will go to the art supply store and use like stable brushes or whatever on their face. And I think that's a fantastic idea. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you want to do eyes or anything? Or are we just going to like um, one and done? What are you doing here? Yeah. Okay. Hey, let's do that. Let's maybe do like a one and done eye. Um, <laughs> sure. Okay, so I didn't know what we would have time for, so I did bring out like a couple of, of palettes, but I also have plenty of one and done's here. Yeah. Um, or, as well. We could do like a two so, and done, like a, oh, a transition maybe like and a then cream, like, like how. Maybe, maybe like a cream and then a powder? Sure, yeah. yeah. That sounds fantastic. Great. I was thinking the same thing. Okay, good. You both are beautiful. Beautiful. You seem to enjoy wearing makeup. Maybe I should wear makeup too. Hi, I hodo Hayashi. <laughs> He's so sweet. Thank you so much. He's so sweet. He's so sweet. Yeah. I like know. He was writing me messages when I first started my blog. Such a nice guy. Mm. Yeah, I wish I knew Japanese to be able to speak Japanese with him. But for eyes, I have have this Tom Ford Forbidden Pink Quad. This is so beaten up because I use it. It's Ooh. that good. Um, wow. Okay. I think I'm, I'm a big fan. I might even yeah. have. Okay. Are oh, we yeah, going to be eyeshadow right twinsies? I have, hey. I have it. So, yeah, maybe I should just use it. Um, I had brought out, I actually haven't gotten much use out of this Forbidden Pink one. This one was limited edition, right? The packaging. Got yes, it, it was that it did for me as well because for me i feel like pink eyeshadow either makes me look like i have conjunctivitis or like i got pepto-bismol on my eyes so but this is so wearable that's why i like it like okay yeah i brought a, I brought <laughs> out a couple of different options here um i love like the chanel single shadows uh they have cream and their powders Chantika has great silver um, single shadows. Yes. I don't know if Tom Ford discontinued these, but these were great because you can get like a two in one, a cream on the bottom oh, and really? then a powder shadow on top. That is cool. Yeah, very innovative on Tom Ford's part. I love Tom Ford makeup. So, um, and then I'll, for cream, I'll probably just stick this uh light cream one in Scintillus, the Chanel one in the inner corner and call it a day. So, um, I will stick with my, with this here quad because I have no clue where I put all my other, oh no, wait, I have, I've got something here. I have this Suku quad here. This is powder shadow. So I'll use this. This is number two, Yokoiru. This is kind of, Kind of like a rose goldy type one so i do have powder shadows okay good crisis averted okay 
So um, this one, okay, so you're considering this more of like a cream shadow? Yes. It's Yeah. Oh, you, you in think my you're opinion, using like powders? In my opinion, it's more of like a creamy powder, no? That is true. You, you are correct. Like that hybrid. is very tr true. Which makes it an interesting thing to think about when you're thinking about which brushes to use, right? That's, because yeah. And now, for like, me, I start to question whether or not, like, gray squirrel is too delicate for that. So I'd stay away from that with these types of creamy, okay, cream to powder formulas. So, um, yeah, I think uh, out of all of, mm, are we going to do three categories again on this? Uh, sure. I got, I got mine. I'm like ready. Like a one and done. That's what I was like. Clanging around. Oh, for one and done? Yeah, sure. I'm thinking that might be easier because there's so many different types of eyeshadow brushes. And I know, like, for instance, you said you don't like this uh, category, like, of an eyeshadow no, brush. No. like, short stuff. I do not. One. I buy them anyway if they're in sets and stuff, but I don't usually go for them. It's like, and then my sister says, can I have them? And I'm like, no, because I need to photograph yeah. them. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I am um, yeah, you have making have, like, breakfast now. After, After eating. eating, I'm off to my lesson. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Thank you for so, sharing Oh, so you're that. ready for your three? Um, almost, almost, almost. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's see... I can't okay. believe we still, like, are... Okay. I can't believe One. we're two and a half hours in. I, I know. I, want, I two, hope this will, three. like, it's probably going to take forever to upload it. Probably. I think that, is this the same? Coyote? Yes! It is. Oh, my God, it wait. It has to be the same <laughs> one. <laughs> It is the same one. <laughs> That's so funny. Out of all of the oh, brushes. Oh, it's bonkers. Okay. I see. And you know what? I probably would have, yeah, like, I thought about um, the Bisciotto Kalinsky brushes, too, as, like, nice yeah. one and done, yeah. especially for creams. But because I haven't technically tried them out yet for that purpose. Okay. Um, I didn't pick that one, but that would be. I see. That, actually, I'm curious if you want to demo them. Um, yeah, sure. And then, oh, definitely. This is a great Mizuho one, just because it's it's underrated in my opinion. It's um, I think this this one's a horse one, and it's nice and thick and dense, and it's it's not that the one softest, looks good. But, I had my eye on that, but it, it's great to pick up harder press formulas. Like this one would be good, for instance, if you wanted to use this with the Tom Ford um, eyeshadows that not not this formula, but the other um wet dry formulas like a, a brush like this would be good with that because that's more of a baked gelé formula and then i brought out um the same one as you did this uh collaboration between bobo and koyuto is awesome like the it's psycho and red canadian squirrel right yes i love that brush so much that is such a good brush I love all of them in this series. So you can, on Fude Bobo's website, get um, all of these, or you can stick to just individual ones. She did just come out with one new shape that just came in the mail yesterday. So I think that's this larger one that I still haven't tried out yet, but I loved the other one so much that I definitely knew I wanted to pick that one up. There's this like more flat one that I love using. As you can see, it's dirty because I like to use it um, for my lower lash line here. And then I, I like using, um, of course, yes, the BES-01 again, like I mentioned earlier, it's, it's really special. It's unique in that I don't know of any other brush that is similar to this one in the sense that it's a nice, uh, thick, rounded, dome-shaped Canadian squirrel brush. I love to just dip this into my bronzer on a day-to-day -day basis and just throw it into my eye socket um so like since i use this hermes bronzer here i usually just take whatever bronzer i'm already using and just slap it on in my crease just to give my, myself a little bit 
more of an illusion that I have a crease. And <laughs> I think it makes a big difference since I have kind of like a harsh, a partially hooded eye. As you can see the difference already that that makes. And, and it also helps set the concealer that I have in place on my eyelid and helps that not to crease. You want to tell us about your picks? I have the Bobo Vistioto. Um, this was the large brush that I'm using right now, and it's pretty. It's pretty awesome. Spoiler alert! Like it's just this, this is. Um, it feels really <laughs> nice on my eyes. It's not tugging at my skin. It's not scratchy. It's like checking all the boxes for me right now. Um, so I really like this one. I know that when Sonia G first launched her brushes, she had, <clears throat> I think it was called like the Worker One. And this is, this Coyuto Red Canadian Squirrel Brush is very similar to that. So if you ever miss the, the boat on the Worker One, this is good. I think I have no problems using this for um, creams, like just blending out or anything, it's fine. Um, this, in my opinion, if you were to only just get one brush from that five brush set, like, or, or if you do do like small, medium, large, that would be fine. But really, it's like, this is one to get, and then the number five is one to get as well. I really like using this for lash line work. It's very soft and it's precise enough, but it also, um, it also gives you something when you lay something down. Because sometimes I find that some precision brushes are too precise for their own good it's like well i wanted a line why am i gonna do this so it's like this lays down just like the right amount for me and for how i like to do my makeup and then what else i had another one. Oh, this shakuda one this is this i just got and i demoed it or like i just kind of tried it out at like on my own time and this was i really like this one as well so this is good for one and done um this is more for like a light wash though just because it's so um fluffy but i would say say I would only caution again like basically for all the other Shakuda brushes it's like the handles you're paying for so the hairs are not the softest out of everything that I own or anything so there are brushes that I prefer to this and how it performs so for example between this and this like get this one um that's kind of those were my picks um are we so it's like one and done that we did right are we doing like an inner corner highlight type thing too yeah, I'm trying to showcase the okay. brushes you're talking about as you're talking oh, yeah. about them. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> but I completely agree with what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, if this is, I think, the number five you said, this little guy here, it's slanted. Yes. And it, yes. it does. As you can see, I'm dipping it into this darker shade here in the Tom Ford quad, Forbidden Pink. So, so yeah, let me, um, or like another thing is so it's like, you see something like this Hakuhodo J521, you would think that this is like, oh, it's a precision brush, but let me just demo this for you real quick. This here is like, um, like this doesn't like, this doesn't do anything. Like this is good for tight lining and stuff. But then like, if I want to do like actual lash line shadow work, it's not very useful for that. So that's why I like the number five for this a lot. I, I, I didn't narrow it down to agree. three. Sorry guys. No, but yeah oh, i totally agree it's hard to narrow it down when it comes to eye brushes um at this point we, we just want to be mindful of everyone's times so. right <laughs> number of the brush we both chose um do you know which number that was i think Yasmin? this, this um, was number one but let me check on the bobo website right now I, thanks for staying with us everyone things. yeah Ooh. Yes, we've been going for gosh a while now. Two and a half hours. Yeah. Oh, this is the number one brush. Oh goodness, it's sold out on Bobo. Oh no. Hopefully she brings it back. Hopefully, yeah. Because this is I like this one. But this is the number. It's a good number five. Hopefully this yeah. She, yeah this, so the tiny one is the number five. But did y'all see? See how on um, the number five that Yasmin was just talking about, how it lays down. Look at, I literally yeah. just dipped it up into this darker shade right here a couple times and I just flicked it out. Everybody, talk, my mom, I don't know if she's still on here, but she is, I'm trying to get her to practice doing her wing eyeliner because she's always so fascinated by wing eyeliner and she's like, oh, I, I've gotten her tape. I've gotten her like my go-to Mizuho like brush that I think is like the easiest um, 
way of doing a wing liner. And I'm like, you have no excuse anymore. I gave, I talked to her about what products she can, <laughs> this right here. Like you literally saw how easy it was for me. So if you're the type of person that struggles with wing eyeliner, look at that. I just, I just took a dark shadow and I just used this number five and I just flipped it out and it just gave me the perfect wing. You know what this Yoda brush is good with liner too, the Tama Gay brush. I like using that for lower lash line work. Here it is. This guy oh, is the okay. one to get for um, lash line work. And then the number five is another good option as well. So let me, yeah, um, I'll just demo this on my hand just because um, it'll be easier that way. So let's see. Thank so I have the so same, um, yeah. So that's this. And then this is the Kuyuta one in action. So there yeah, you go. The set is a very yes. reasonable price. Totally agree. And then somebody also said that Biziotto's Pine Squirrel is so springy and snappy. So true. It's amazing quality. Um, and this one is better quality than this one in the set. This one does come with a, I think this is Red Canadian Squirrel or Pine Squirrel. I'm not sure how they label it. Yeah, but that's um, Pine I'm. Let me, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Pine Squirrel. Tapered eyeshadow brush, yeah pine squirrel this one's definitely it feels um yes. like better quality than this one but i still i give them kudos for um putting this one in the set at all just because it is a unique hair type um just like they did with this set in general i think they did a good job and then oh that other um so mizuho i want to yeah give like a little bit of a special shout out to this guy here. It's Mizu. You can get it on Foodie Bubbles website. This one's another one that I recently had to pick up a backup of ahead of the price, even though it's already super cheap. But uh, it's really it's synthetic, I think, or maybe synthetic and weasel. Now that I'm, I forget. But it has like a little slant. I think it might be synthetic and weasel. And it's, it's just the perfect shape. It's nice and stiff. But this one's a, a similar to the one that I just used, the number five. I'll compare them. But this one's just the one by Mizuho is just a little bit more precise. And, of course, the difference in the, the hair types as well. But if you want, like, a super sharp wing eyeliner, you could always go in with this one first and then go back in on top and just, like, if you're working with a cream or liquid formula this one's good um but this one's easy to just do real quick and then if you need to clean up with it um that's what these flat brushes are great for any of these that we've mentioned on here are great to just clean up your wing i'm going to use brush. um ges02 for inner corner highlight with this upper pink shade this upper right hand corner just to get it on my face i don't even need this but I just like using it so much. Um, oh, the, the and that um, brush. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I, much for I love one and done, right? Just had to. I, know. <laughs> I love using uh, little like round stumpy brushes like this for my inner. Corner oh, highlight. I see. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, I, I have those in my drawer there. But those are oh. those are very I was thinking about pulling them out, but I didn't. I, what was I thinking? <laughs> The brush that you were showing was the MB133 eyeliner brush, Weasel Mix PBT. That's the brush that um, Noval was just showing. Thank you. Yeah, somebody said that they agree that they love that one too. Thin and precise. Yeah, it's very unique. Nicely shaped. And the number five, people agree that they have the number five and love it. Um, yeah, this one is my newest one, the one that um, Pude Bobo recently added to this series. So I'll use this one for the first time and we'll go in with this one and see how this one looks on the inner corner for an inner corner highlight. How's your This phone? is the BES Not overheating? Oh, no, I, I, so far so good. I think it just kind of decided to power through. The room I'm in is like super hot though. So combined with my light, it's just like, oh, yikes, yeah. but whatever. We'll we'll get through this. It's okay. I, I got my water here to hydrate. Like, my life is good if it's the worst of my problems. Same. 
I, maybe we should tr try to wrap it up here. I know it's like we could stay yeah. on forever, but the technical difficulties and all that. I know. And then I know that like you have another commitment in the afternoon, so have to be mindful of that. Yeah, we're and good. I can't I... believe the eight whoever's been watching consistently like our numbers haven't really gone down because I was watching that like oh people are gonna x out but like I'm just so happy to see that people are watching mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we lose lose some, we gain some. Maybe it's the same people. Yeah. That... <laughs> come back so thank you so much for sticking with us we we're having a good turnout here so um yeah i like to just like um slap on a little bit of the same highlighter that i'm using on uh the rest of my face like if i'm not going to do a separate inner corner highlight i'll use my same highlighter for my inner corner highlight um and then i like to take like a like more of a, like a flatter brush like this this one's dirty right now, so I'm leery of using it for this step. But um, I have just like any other little brush like this that I like to just do um, use for my uh, brow bone highlight. Do you ever do a brow bone highlight, Yasmin? Um, not too often. If it's like a special occasion type of thing, I will. But then, because I'm here with you, I will. Let's see. Oh, can you guys showcase some loved lip brushes the bes06 i use it's supposed to be an eyelight and um an eyeshadow brush but that's kalinsky and it's fantastic for lips oh gosh where did it go oh it's this yeah i was gonna suggest actually going that's on to one. lips next oh sure um so that's even that's perfect timing actually um okay let's do lips 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 okay where did my liner go i pulled the liner out and now of course i can't find it this always happens on my lives i'm like where did this go it's like i try to be all organized and stuff and then oh here it's found it the <laughs> same there's so much in front of us okay 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 um get a Liner on Are you picking out your tops for lip brushes? Uh, yes, I have. So I don't really have a favorite, or well, yeah, I don't think I have a favorite Kyoto one. I'm struggling to find a good yeah. Kyoto one too. Now that I'm thinking about oh, that, twinsies. <laughs> okay, literally same. Okay, so should we just do the Bisciotto and Mizuho? Uh, sure. Oh yeah, I guess well, I already announced which one I liked, but yeah, ready. One, two, two three. three. I wasn't paying attention, so that's good. Okay. Oh. oh, there we go. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, snap. Oh, it's yes. This basically is, the same. Okay, we got this. It's similar. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, but this is um. What, this is the B E E S O six. It's Kalinsky. This is also real good for under eye concealer if you want to like blend it out or if you don't like touching foundation to your face. This is like such a good multitasking brush. Um, and this is- Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Mizuho discontinued. And this is the Shakuda 826. And just a couple of alternatives from Mizuho here um, that you could probably use for a lip brush are, these three but you could also use any of these for concealer as well these just like nice flat shapes that you can use with different formulas are really useful yeah. um so i have these three here this one's synthetic this one's the prairie dog and then this one's weasel or Kalinsky. but i agree out of all of these um because this one's discontinued best bang for your buck is this one this one's this one's great because it could just be used for so many different things like you could use this to shade in your eyebrows you can use this to, for a uh, uh to pack on glitter shadows you can use it to pack on liquid eye um eyeshadow you can use it to pack on cream eyeshadow you can use it as a lip brush you might even be able to get away with using it for your nose contour um yeah spreading out your concealer I just, yeah, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is for me to have a flat weasel brush in my collection or a flat um, Kalinsky brush. So, and also I'd like to add that between this one and this one, since 
I know this one is really pricey. This one is like a third of the price. So I would recommend getting the ESO stick uh, over which, this one. Which, yeah. which is the other one that you're saying that was more pricey? The Bobo Bistioto large um, Kalinsky. Oh, brush. okay. So this is the yeah, two the of them next to just came out with. Yeah. True. Um, right. Yeah, it is. And we got some questions in the chat chat not sure if you answered my question earlier sorry if i missed it i was wondering how you both feel about synthetic brushes they're great there's um yeah they're 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 great for what they are um i just i'm just a nerd when it comes to animal haired brushes um i saw like those ray morris brushes that were also synthetic i kind of wanted them but i didn't want them for like 900 dollars. <laughs> So oh, I was like, okay, yeah, let me like for that money, let me just go get some Kolinsky type of thing. That's kind of that was the mentality that I had. I agree. So, I love um, yeah synthetic brushes. I I think that there is a place for synthetic brushes in my collection for sure. Um, they are go tos. They're staples. I love. I'm a brush lover in general. I love all types of brushes. We do not discriminate here. Like right handy. Like I'll show you. Like I use non food aid brushes all the time. Sigma, I just picked these up from the Nordstrom anniversary sale in a pack. Um, these were like Sigma brushes were like the ones that I was using um, early on, but be be way before I even got into food aid. And they were workhorse brushes. I used them for years and years um, and they worked great. And then like um, BK Beauty has some great synthetic brushes. But yeah, even for food aid, um, they have great synthetic brushes too. I have a few here that um i've mentioned like th uh these two here are from mizuho i have some hakuhoto ones that are similar like they're synthetic like this they're great to just like lay down your foundation if you're the type of person that likes to use a makeup sponge i recommend using like a flat type of brush first to spread it out so that you don't um waste as much product um but yeah abyss yoto has some excellent um, synthetic brushes as well, these two, and they're still very luxurious because you're still getting the nice, beautiful handles and they're still hand bundled. So there's definitely a place for synthetic brushes, I think, in everyone's collection. Did you get the new Weasel Nebulae series that Bobo released not too long ago? Is that, I got the Fitch Weasel eye brush, but not the Weasel, like the other straight Weasel brush, no. Is it this one? Yeah. I think it's this one. I think this one's, uh, so, yeah. Just arrived as well last night. It was part of the um, new brushes that just came in, was this addition to the Nebula series, which is, yes, a Fude Bobo and Chikahoto collab. I haven't used it yet i just washed it last night it's fresh and ready to go which is why i have it right here within reaching distance because <laughs> um she does she did already have one like this in the series that is similar but this one has um just she switched up the the length on this one so i'm excited these ones like i said i can't have enough it seems in my collection just because they're so useful for so many things lip brush eye brush concealer brush you name it this like kind of thicker style kalinsky slash weasel and then this um i like the precise tip on this um shakuda brush sephora pro yeah i agree they have great synthetic brushes i don't have any out here that are handy um but oh yeah the i just use this not just because now we that was almost three hours ago but i used the <laughs> bisioto synthetic brush for my foundation and i first impressions i love this one great highly highly recommend excited to have added this one in my collection refer shout out to refer um we know that refers oem is hakuhoto right oh I, so they just I didn't know that some synthetic i believe if so somebody can correct me if i'm wrong but i think that's what i heard let me see that okay so i hope that i was able to showcase that for you and not the density on this one yeah 
do you do finishing powder? Because we set our primer. So I think we already showcased our favorite powder brushes already. Oh, Clay de Pole does make great synthetic brushes. Yeah, I have their angled foundation brush, I think. Um, I'm a little bit behind. I just have to slap oh, on no, the lipstick. Fine. And, um, oh. I just brought out my two. But then you do all Which... the talking. So I was like, let me just put the rest of my face. Yeah, up that's where you have talking. to take advantage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which lip products did you bring out? I brought out my Tom Ford lipsticks. Just because they're Okay, I did the... Um... I did the Lisa Eldridge uh, no, uh, lip liner and then the Ellis Foss L106. I did this in my last live too. They were just laying out here. So I was like, okay, yeah, let me use these again. And I like them. So I was like, why not? Um, For lip. I've said before. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. So a very long time ago, once upon a time, Sephora used to sell Ellis Foss. And um, I was like, wow, what is this? So I bought the lipsticks and they came in this terrible clicky pen and they were so messy and so disgusting but I loved the colors but you need to wear these with a liner because they do feather as well but they recently upgraded to doe foot applicator packaging which is very welcome so I love the colors but the formulas are not the best so they feather um, they're not long wearing but they're good lipsticks and I paired it with the Lisa Eldridge lip pencil in 3C um, Lisa Eldridge's makeup is very hit or miss for me because I find that it's um like the skin tint is great, the lip pencils are great, but her lipsticks break. Her eyeshadows gave me hard pan, and the actual foundation, not the skin tint, broke me out. So it's like I want to like your products, but it's like some of them are good and some of them I haven't gotten the best results. Sorry, like I know it's like I feel like it's sacrilege to say that, but yeah, sorry everyone. <laughs> no. no. And then no, for, I, I agree. And for eyeliner, this is Bordeaux by Victoria Beckham. This is like the dark red color. This is one of my favorites. You could tell by how, how much I've sharpened it so far. Ooh, ooh, I want that one. That one looks like a good one. Um, great minds think alike again. I have a Victoria Beckham eyeliner out as well, I think, if I could find it. Is it, is it cinnamon? Because you used that in your last um, yes. in your last video. Oh my God. Yeah, it is. I was like, should I pull I, cinnamon? No, that'd be too weird. I literally just, I had sharp, okay, it's right here, it's right here. I was like, where did it go? It walked away. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, they're just, uh, yeah, if I just off the top of my head think about which eyeliners are my favorite, I would probably say these are just so good. They, they're, they're good. creamy, they're pigmented, the colors are unique. They're easy to work with, but then once they dry, they stay put. You could use them like essentially as like um like cream eyeshadows too, or like a base for your powder eyeshadows. Yeah, they're great. Every time these brands drop a new eyeliner, it's like, oh, let me try that. And it's like, what was I thinking buying this? It's not Victoria Beckham. Oh, like, stop it. Really? Stop trying to make it happen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like so rich and wieners and fetch or something yeah I completely agree totally okay so somebody's the fan of not a fan of that limit at least it was your foundation oh. and lipsticks but love the lip balm and skin t i've heard great things about the skin tint yeah the skin tint is fantastic because at this point like i'm kind of i've just tapped out on other skin tints just because i like the lisa eldridge one too, so much it's like it's been like my go-to complexion product of the summer just because it's like, it's perfect for when it's like, you want to look like you put a modicum of effort into how you look, but you don't want to look like you've completely given up on life yet. And, or you don't want to look too overdone. So that's why I love the Lisa Eldred skin tint because it's perfect for that. It's like just enough, but not too much. So it's like, I've used it for most of like social situations where it's like wine and cheese night with my neighbors or like Ooh. going out or Ooh. like a quick dinner, a date night, like that type of thing. It's just like perfect for that. Nice. I have, I have to get my hands on that one. I don't have it yet. It's good. I, I like it. I hope it doesn't break you up, though. My skin is not super sensitive, so it doesn't break out easily um, when it comes to, like, you know, because of a makeup product or a cream. Like, if it breaks out, it's just because, you know, I'm prone to uh, cystic acne, but um mm -hmm. yeah not 
I don't really get because I was on Accutane not too long ago, so it kind oh, of okay. has put my acne at bay for at least the time being. I mean, your skin looks great. I was like, oh, what you do for? I didn't know faces could look like that until I subscribed to your Instagram. Oh, so you're so that's so sweet <laughs> of you to say. Thank you. That's like the biggest like, compliment oh, okay. whenever because yeah. I've struggled with my skin my whole life. Um, yeah. Since I've been since I was in sixth grade, it's genetic. I, my brothers have acne too. My parents had it when they were younger. So, um, luckily, I've seen dermatologists and I've um, been on tretinoin for years and years. And then it wasn't like fully going away to my liking. So then I ended up getting on Accutane, which I don't know why I ended up like I. I ended up feeling like I don't know why I avoided it for so long because it was it did just like work miracles and it really wasn't that bad when it came to side effects as everybody said. But yeah, when it comes to I was just like the the to the person that asked about the lip brushes, um, Bisiodo has some great ones. But I agree with Yasmin in like if you're gonna choose any of them, go with the what B E S um, five was that what that oh, was? Six. Oh six. Oh six. Because. S ES05, like with the stumpy handle, that's the same. But I'm just going to take a quick second to anti haul the short handles. I don't like them. I don't recommend them. Not my thing. But yeah, they make a Kalinke version with this length, and I don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like the way it feels in the hand. And um, I do want to give a quick shout out to um, their, I don't know which uh, number this one is, but it is like the rounded Kalinsky one. And I thought that that was pretty unique in the food aid market as well. It's not all the time that you see a round feral Kalinsky brush, oh. um, but this one is great. Kind of similar in use to what I mentioned that I use this uh, Curata one for spot concealing, um, but you could also use it for uh, as an eye brush as well, if you really want to like do some deepening into the inner corners, inner corner highlight, a little bit of a um, a nose highlight as well, just like on the tip of your okay. nose. That uh, looks like highlight. the um, B E S O seven. It's weasel okay. ferret shaped eyeshadow brush made entirely of ferret hair. So that's the type of weasel that it's used. This, that's interesting. So I, mean, really? I wasn't aware of that no one. No way. One. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm on the Bobo website. I was just like looking that up. I was like, ooh, maybe I will want to. <laughs> so I looked at that. Yeah. It's, it says that it's I can tell you right now. It's fair. Yeah. That, you would have fooled me because uh, I believe you, but it's, it feels exactly like Kalinsky. Yeah. But it's pretty cool that it's good scary. to know. Yeah, I'm curious your thoughts on this one if you end up grabbing it, Yasmin, because sure. if you could tell the difference, let me know. Yeah, definitely. Um, I guess I have to get it now. <laughs> yeah, right. I know after this live, I'm questioning whether I need to pick up a couple of extra ones too. Um, but, oh, I wanted to give a special shout out to this one since people asked about lip brushes. Um, I I respect Miss Yoto for like coming up with just clever mechanisms like in handles for like... Okay, so I picked this one up, not from Pude Bobo's website. I don't know if she has this one on her website, but there's other retailers you can get this one um, from. It's the B-WC-01. And I only know that because it's uh, written here on the handle, which is pretty cool and really pretty writing. And I do think that they should that this one should have come with another lid for the other side. For some reason, it just came with um, a lid for one side, but it does fit both sides. But look at how cool this one is. It's perfect for travel because you have this little guy right here and this looks like it's a synthetic, but this is perfect for, you could use this as a lip brush. You could use this to spot conceal as well. And um, then on the other side, it's also a synthetic brush, but it kind of resembles their weasel version that they have, their Kalinsky version of their lip brush, but except it's synthetic. And look at just how beautiful. They still use their African rosewood. They still use your, their uh, 24 karat gold to plate them. And um, one clever, another clever way of, of using this is like if you're going out and you have, let's say, a red lip on or a bright lip and you want to make sure that you have enough to touch up on, but you don't really want to use a bullet when you're out and about because you want to make sure to stay in the lines. Um, you can just like load up a brush like this with your bullet lipstick 
and then just pop the lid on, throw it in your purse, and that way throughout the day, you already have some of that lipstick on and you can just reapply it and throw it back in your purse, which is why I like these that. That is genius. That's such a good, good idea. I do that one with the Chikohoto one, the Z7. Okay. Yeah. But that they, one looks yeah. like it's denser, so it would travel better. Or like yeah. it would load up better than the Z7 would. Yeah, and it's cool that it has the two options, one that's more flat and one that is more dense. That way you can use this for like spot concealing too, or like a one and done eyeshadow brush. Um, oh, oh my should God, we do a finishing powder? Sure. Yes, I got my bowl ready and everything. It's been three hours and I think that I know. might be the last step, right? I think it's like a world record. I know. I know, but we're just having so much fun. I can't help it. I'm not complaining. Which, I'm enjoying myself. Pardon? Me too. Um, which finishing powder did you bring out to use? This, this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Honey. Okay. Nice. Um, in, um, in the touchable. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to solidify my picks for. Oh, we set our primer, so I have the same. Um, I have the same selections. Okay. okay. Yeah. True. That's true. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna watch my godson soon. That's that's my other commitment that I have out for Rebecca. Just um, my friend just hopped on here. <laughs> Yeah, that's my commitment is um, babysitting tonight. So I don't have a finishing powder to use for, from Mizuho, but I do have more than enough options from the other two, from Bisioto. And oh, Mizuho, no. So. <laughs> did, did you already Top do decision. that set? I did. Oh, yeah, I just set my, my face just now. So I used those. I, okay. oh, I'm sorry, one, two, three. <laughs> yeah. So this is the... Uh, Oh yeah, the same ones, yeah. I almost but this is the um this is the GF01. This is the squirrel haired from the Grand series. This is the Mizuho SP2, and this is the White Canadian Squirrel Large. Okay. Yeah, this was it's yeah. hard to choose between the GF01 from Bisioto and the GP01. Um they have similar lengths, except one is a flat head style round flat and then the other one is a rounded ferrule um but they're yeah interchangeable they're both great for finishing powders maybe if you have more dry skin if i had more dry skin i would definitely lean more toward um squirrel hair brushes but when i am more oily like normal i'll lean more toward like fox and goat and maybe even like canadian squirrel hair brushes like um these so these could be used for finishing powder um any of like these could be used for finishing powder and then so can of course this one a tried and true i love this one and then this one too is also a great one for all sorts of different tasks but finishing powder as well and then my favorite finishing powders would have to be um the Guerlain meteorites and hourglass for smart powders good choices so Those i have yeah um because i don't want to emphasize texture or anything like that and i just find that these formulas even though they're glowy they're very elegant but i also have a, a special and honorable mention that i mentioned earlier on in this live about three hours ago that i was going to mention this as a finishing powder from Chantecaille. this was a limited edition one but they might still have this one on their website because i had to pick up a backup not too long ago because it was limited edition and remember what i said about my backup so if i get a backup that's how you know there's just something truly special about this powder this is the lotus perfect blur glow powder it is baked which is why i would gravitate um less towards something that's too airy like this like these brushes and i would gravitate like more so toward goat as opposed to squirrel i would gravitate more toward um fox as opposed to squirrel 
for something like this, like a baked gelée. So of course it's glorious to use a big chunky one like this. Um, but I could also definitely go in with um, this one by Bisciotto since it's available. I don't want to use ones that are unavailable if I can avoid it. But this one's good. I would just be a little bit more careful when I'm packing it on to not disturb the product underneath. And I would go and do it like so. If I was using uh, Microlon Meteorites, I would want to, I would not use this one. This one would be too dense for that, in my opinion, probably. And I would go with something more fluffy, like um, a squirrel one. Or even. Do you do like setting this. spray? Um, I do sometimes. I don't, it's not like a okay. must. I see. But I do, like I would today, um, because, well, <laughs> Honestly, it depends on how much time I have, if I remember, oh, sorry. and <laughs> yeah, how my hair is. Oh, I talked because too much, sorry. <laughs> it can mess up my hair if I, um, because um, I have curly hair, so like if I have just um, styled it with heat products, I just, I'm more careful, I, but I'll grab my- I usually put um, my hand up here when I do my setting spray to hide it. So. Yeah, exactly. I'll like try to put like a headband on or something to block it. But I have my Shantakai one here. How about you? I have the Suku Makeup Fix Mist. So instead of How finishing powder, what I saw, so this is good. It's nice and fragrant. It's but the, you don't get a lot in the in the bottle. This only has fifty milliliters in it. So I wouldn't. This wouldn't be a go to one for me. I like that it's not as um sticky as the one size one because that one is just like you know really just sets it on there but this is like a nice like every type of one but i don't know if you remember that episode of full house when uncle jesse was selling those motorcycle visors to protect the, uh, to protect his face from getting hairspray on it it was like i, need oh, that I don't remember that I episode spray. but i loved full you house growing up yeah i know it was like the spray guard 2001 like that infomercial like that, that's what i think of every time i put my setting spray on that's so funny. Love Uncle Jesse. Uh, yeah, the, the, yes, the hourglass, um, the brushes are hard to fit into the hourglass because of the, the small, yeah, true for finishing. So then I would, like, if you have, like, the full size hour, this one's, like, the older packaging. Look at how old, y'all, this is. It's, like, they're old, oh, yeah, the font. like lettering, the font. That um, is I even school. think that they've changed the color on this. But I just to show you, like how I'm not lying. Like I have completely. Fit this one's in the shade dim light, which I think is probably out of all the hourglass um, powders for finishing powder. Dim light would be my favorite. So if you, it, this would be worth me replacing in the full pan size, and that way it's easier to get big chunky brushes in. To a pan like so, this. I went to a seminar where this TV makeup artist named Bethany Towns was doing a class on complexion. She said that with setting spray, um, not only is it a good idea to set it on the face, it's good to set on a sponge and then press it into the skin. And it yeah, I do that sometimes and it yields too. a nicer finish. And that was the first good time tip. I saw it. So I was like, oh, okay. And it's really, and I really like the like it's a it's, that's been a good tip for me yeah that's a great tip um i kind of yeah was doing that especially when i was on accutane and i did have super dry skin that was something that i used to love doing is i would constantly like be wetting my uh sponge and i would so yeah because of my skin type i don't feel like setting powder is necessary all the time but when i had drier skin then I, I I used to love setting spray. I would so it, it, that's another thing that is just kind of a matter of personal preference. But when you have oily an oily skin type, um, setting spray is kind of neither here nor there. And really, this one is like a good. I, I the stickiness love that one, bothers yeah. people maybe, but not me. Like I will put this on my face if it means that my makeup is going to stay. And I really really like this one size one. It's like hairspray for your face, yeah. I, but, yeah. Um, I that's yeah. Um, I was um, I knew somebody that was a professional dancer, and she said that it, like before setting sprays became a thing, that she would use um actual hairspray to hairspray? set her makeup for stage wow. makeup. And she's like, if she's like the the ingredients really don't differ that much, according to 
to what she told me. There was a Reddit thread about this this morning. I was reading on makeup addiction. I was like, what? Really? <laughs> yeah, there was. There's somebody who was like, can you recommend a good hairspray? And then somebody actually said, was that you who posted that? Now I'm wondering. <laughs> like, no, no, it's, it wasn't me. <laughs> but that's funny. Okay. So so somebody said, thank you for the tip on the, using the setting spray on the sponge. Oh. That was a great tip. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Thank Bethany. She was the smart one. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Just regurgitating what she said. Yeah. Which one is similar to this one, but doesn't choke you? The infallible three second setting mist. Oh, okay. Is that L'Oreal? Just because she said I'm fallible. Oh, the L'Oreal ha hairspray one is good at making my makeup last all day. Okay, thank you for that. Interesting. Okay. Similar to the one size, but doesn't choke. Okay, cool. Good to know. Is it an aerosol? I wonder. I, I like aerosols because um, they're less wet. And I, just, I don't feel like there's as much of a risk of there being like the, the clumps that can mess up your makeup. Are we done? Did we finish? I think so. I think it's that time. Like, I think we got to do this again. But like, I, I don't know. Oh. We had covered so much ground, but yeah. I think we did. Unless anybody has any other questions in the chat or is curious for us to showcase anything else, I think we'll just be wrapping this up. I'm surprised Instagram has even let us go for this long. Exactly the same. I know. I'm having so much fun. We're going to post this and it's going to be like, yeah. Or just like share it or something. This is so much. This is so exciting. Our yeah, totally. Collab. I know. I'll post it on my YouTube channel as well. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. You have a YouTube channel too, right, Yasmin? I do. I just kind of like recycle my old unboxings up there because I was just like, okay, why not? And now I started recording more content because I got a new camera. So I did a couple get ready with me that I have to edit and then post up there. But yeah, that's um. It's in progress. I guess the only other step that I might do, like after a, a setting spray, like at this point, is touch up a brow if I feel like I need to. I'm using the Tom Ford fi Fiber Eyebrow Gel. See, I, if you don't cut me do... off, I can just keep going. <laughs> Mascara. That's what I forgot. Oh, yeah. I just slapped on some uh, lower lash mascara because I have lashify um eyelashes on they're just little lash clusters that i stick oh on. i see i've done them on a live before so if you guys go check out my other lives time to recharge my battery my mom said <laughs> well thank you for staying this whole time yeah let us know if you are still here from the beginning or if you at least got the majority that's awesome so sweet thanks yeah I i'm surprised we were able to take up over three hours, but yeah, yeah, I'm so down to do this anytime if you know you. Oh if yeah, definitely. Interest. Any requests? Holiday shopping guide, probably around the winter time. I don't know. We'll figure something. Yeah, out. anything. Sephora yeah. sale favorites. Yeah, cannot wait to see you both collab again. Yeah, this was so much fun. This was a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. Well, then, then should we just? Yeah. Um, Maybe call it. We pose for the thumbnail. Sure. What do we What do we do? Just show kind of our makeup looks up close. Or hold. Or I'll take a selfie and send it to you. Hold up our brushes or, or something like that too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We can all. Okay. After this is done, we can do our thumbnail. Yes, we will. Okay. Thank you all for joining us Thanks again. Thanks so much. Bye. Thank you so much, Noah. I had some blast. Take care. Me too. Bye. Bye. Bye.